This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 614 Tuesdays we've been celebrating professional wrestling here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to have some fun with this. we got a great crew here with us tonight. Let's go around the horn. First of all, Billy is joining us once again, I'm Patroner here. extraordinaire. I'm here once again, Sorg. Once I, again. I, I couldn't miss the opportunity to sit here with Honey Badger. <laughs> Hanging out. And as mentioned, Honey Badger joins us again. Up. Welcome back. The the paw is healed, I understand. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally good. We have to turn you up a little. Oh, there he is. That's on my side. Oh, he's You're there. Oh. Hello. How Hi. you been doing? Good. Really I'm good. glad we didn't scare you away last time you came on. <laughs> no, I was shocked I got asked back. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna catch up with you here on the show, of course. And he goes, you've been doing great things with our other friend of the show, Keith Hot, down in Rise Wrestling. Boy. I'm so sad I haven't been there the last two shows to see this in person. So, um, but uh, awesome, really awesome to have oh, you back here. Oh, are you okay, Riz? Riz is on with us, as you've heard. I, I'm here, and I'm actually watching SmackDown right now. Yeah, there's a lot happening on SmackDown right now. Yeah, um, Jinder Mahal is sitting on his throne. That, that is a very did modern he, throne. Did he borrow that from Charlotte or from I don't know. WrestleMania? I, 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 I think he just took her robe and put it underneath the chair. Oh, okay. So yeah, they I just redressed just it. found a chair in the back and just put it like... <laughs> Like from an office and just put it somewhere. Oh, okay. Just put it in there. That's just for reuse, right? Reuse. You just, you know, yeah. repurpose things. But hi, Sword. Hi, hi, Riz. Glad you could join us. And of course, Riz is going Riz, Riz to be playing games with me this Friday, but uh, we'll get to those, those details Riz plays later. Games, sword. Yeah, Riz plays games. Also, Larry is with us in the uh, executive um, producer office seat. producer seat. So, so Larry, Larry, you're like secondarily in charge tonight. Don't do or that to or yourself. as or Careful. as most will probably think, primarily in charge of this podcast. <laughs> what is that? Sticky notes. You have sticky notes. Sticky notes. Is, is this? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Missy usually has. Wait, wait, wait. Producer Missy no, usually no, no, has no, no, no. three monitors it, it and a computer no, 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 no. and something to throw at me. This is much more. Efficient. You have. I could tie this to a brick. <clears throat> you can tie. Wait, where are you going to get a brick over there? From the wall. From the wall. Just another brick in the wall. Just another brick in the wall. Oh no! You got you got your guest. Oh no! Yes. Thank you. I need a oh no! Band there you go. The rubber don't. band. No, no, no! You just throw that. Yeah, you throw I that. And if you get it, to and it, if you get a natural that. twenty, you win. You win the podcast. Well, I have to tie messages to it and then throw it to you. It's and a, it's you a, give this back after you get I the give, message. I give this back. Why would I give back the because thing? Because I might have me? more notes for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Do we need the pigeons? Is that what's happening? No, we don't need pigeons. I have a. It's a 20-sided die. You don't know that. I'm fairly certain that's a 20-sided die. Come back to me. I'll let you Come know. back to you. Are you working on that? <laughs> Are you working on that? Hold on a second. What's, what's, is something else coming from, from uh, producer Missy who's yes. on strike? More post-it notes. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh, and you have something there I want to actually uh, – actually, if you want to show that off a little bit, I can – I'm can, watching SmackDown. I wanted to give a shout-out to our friend um, – Oh, the book. Uh, Brain Buster on the Instagram – the the wrestler photo book the wrestlers photo book um i got some sweet oh hold on there's there, oh, there's the book right there <laughs> thank you very much this is an awesome kickstarter we talked to uh, uh michael watson on the indie mayhem show a few weeks ago about uh, a polaroid photo book he did he also gave me some other swag some some cool um stickers um there's some some cool stuff there's the best friends uh chucky e. t and and trent um uh, there's some pentagon jr going on there there's some oh that worse again joey ryan and uh candace um and uh pete dune is uh represented as well it's, it's basically everybody who's anybody is in that book and it's it's a really cool read and if you guys are in the studio i want to leave it out here on the uh on the table on the books table right next to the mazes the the cool mazes that we have the monster mazes um that our friend joe Wos did 
Uh, but uh, oh, and also happy Rusev Day, out Speller, uh, out there. Happy Rusev Day. Wait, 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 wait. Check, check, double check. There it is. Happy Rusev Day. And who is coming to the ring right and now? And who's coming? Is Rusev? Oh, that, yes. That I can't. Very. Like, there you go. It was very strange in that timing right there. <laughs> So everybody that's simulcasting us in SmackDown just had just had their minds blown a little bit. But anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out here at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I feel like I miss introducing somebody. Producer Missy's back there. She kind of introduced herself. Uh, I feel, I feel I mean, alone I, over here. You, you do feel alone. You're, there's not five people with maybe, you on the maybe line. Maybe that's why. That's, that's why. Because you're just by yourself in the Hangout. Just in this computer in this box over here on this shelf. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, Google Play Music, and video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page, where, of course, you're live every Tuesday at 7. No, that's the other show. We're live here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, just simulcast us. Make a decision and uh, picture and picture us with your uh, 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 SmackDown Live watching of course or just watch on hulu like i do you, you have some jet lag don't you so i oh boy no seriously i landed from la at like 2 a.m last night so i don't know what time it is at all guys it's sort of may okay. pass out during it's, the podcast it might just I, I have an update oh we have an update there is in fact 20 sides to this thank guy. you thank you thank you larry has counted the dice we are off to a great start um you can drop his line also at that email address Good times. Good times. Good times at sorgatronmedia.com or 412-206-WMS0. Uh, yes, well, you haven't fixed that other email, Riz. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Also, you can catch us uh, streaming uh, live uh, uh, The Sounds of Mayhem as you're going to sleep here on the East Coast. Midnight, every night, the 405media.com um that's a uh, 9 p.m pacific time for you guys out there because i know there's some pacific people out there as well what's up the alex's and tina uh there uh i got to hang out with alex cars actually to watch um the impact versus lucha recordings the other night and uh, we did a little wrap-up show and then facebook made us sound like chipmunks so thank you facebook for that doing that to our video and having to fix that thing um they've, they, been, they've been busy this week they have been busy oh yeah they've had some other concerns that we talked about on awesome cast with the the federal government um yeah it was a long interview thank you to our patreon supporters guys this is i think the biggest patreon supported month that we've ever had uh with mayhem mania last week or last week with patreon in the bank and and stay tuned on there we um i'm hoping we can get some things figured out very, very soon, hopefully by the end of the month, um, for some new levels and some new reasons for you to stay on the Patreon and support the show there as well, other than just supporting the, the, the awesome things going on here and helping us keep the lights on here in the studio. Thank you to the fan of the show, Dollar Level, Bo Diggity! Woo! Who made his uh, 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 decadely appearance last week on the show? <laughs> God, we haven't seen him for so, like I basically have not seen this he guy for. On the show I for feel a while. like for five years, and then he joined us, and he lives in this town. So he has a that. legends contract. He does have a legends contract. He's a mayhem show legends contract. Shows up as often as Brock does. Also, thank you, Ed Burke, Bobby F J Town, Tina Keys, and the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. And at the Pocky Club five dollar level, they're going to get the mayhem show. Gold, uh, including our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, uh, Mad Mike, Christopher Bishop, and Heel Bradley. What's up, Bradley? Um, and uh, also at the Pizza Club $10 level is Billy, who's joining us. It's yes, I am. I'm here, Sorg. It's a perk. Um, and also JD Jones, who's been uh, joining us as well. I know we've been seeing you in the chat room lately. Thank you so much, everybody that does support the show. It, it, it's really it, it's really great to, to see that you guys will put you know, this much into like a podcast like this uh, around the community, around everybody on the Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, we've been having a lot of fun the last few weeks, especially in the WrestleMania and everything. So uh, it's really cool uh, for you guys um, to be a part of that. And also, we have another level. Uh, if you guys want, we do have a $20 level uh, for the Patreon. And with that, you get a free indie wrestling.us digital download every month along with that. So, so guys... I think some wrestling happened this weekend. Shenanigans. I think, um, I'm pretty. Uh, maybe. Like, maybe. Like, I mean, one maybe did we, face James Ellsworth. Some of us watched some of this. Yeah. Some of us attended some of this. Some of us participated in some of it. Right. Uh, so, you know, uh, it, 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 there was a lot. But I want to start with the talking. The talking? The talking. The talking? The talking. The Hall of Fame. 
Uh, Hugging snack? Oh. First of all, who survived four and a half hours of the Hall of Fame? I don't think anyone. No, anybody, I did not. In, did in you pieces. See that crowd? In pieces. How, was wow. out, were they, like, they, how, the crowd shots were looking they, a little rough by they, the end? They cleared out by 11. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh no! Like there were, there it were was points. so it was like it was like the bad night at two o five crowd. That floor was three rows deep by the end of it. Jeez! Like, so it, there I, were points during Goldberg's speech where you can tell he put in a like a like a clapping break or a laughing break or something in there. And there was nobody and, around. And the the reaction that Goldberg got because they just focused on his face they didn't pan into the audience they didn't do any of that was he was just looking around going okay right guys right guys guys Guys. because i couldn't hear i I don't know if it was just me or if it was the camera like the, the the audio picking it up or if it was just dead there but it, there was nothing like nothing was going on. The people who paid to be there were there. Like all the fans and stuff were in the crowd, but okay. there was nobody on the floor. Wait, wait, so all the wrestlers had left? All the wrestlers. If, if you yeah. if you look at some of the, the pictures that were posted, there was no more than thirty people where like all the wrestlers and the wow. fan members and stuff would be. Yeah. The, like like Larry said, the first two or three rows maybe. Mm-hmm. The rest of it was completely empty. It was like inauguration day. Yeah. It was, it, it was. We're not getting political on this show, Dan. I'm, I'm just saying the capacity. It, it was all. really, really we... sad. <laughs> um, uh, did you watch it, Patrick? I made through some of it, but yeah. it was really lackluster for me. I, and, and no offense to mm. you know the inductees, like they totally deserved it, but they talked a lot this I year. I could not. But it was. Yes. It, it, I couldn't it was, do it. It was like they let they they left the reins off of everybody, right? Like they're just like, yeah, go ahead, guys. That or they just didn't stop talking. They, they, well, like they, they just... Most of them were teleprompted, though. The karaoke started, and I was like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> that was right. I, I do who that. Did the, who did karaoke? Je- Jeff Fuck. Jarrett and Jeff Jarrett. Oh, I skipped um, his. Yeah, no, yeah. I, was, I didn't listen yeah. to his. That's... It wasn't a bad speech. I, I think I do that anywhere, though. As soon as karaoke starts in a bar or something, I'm like, "No, I'm, I'm out. Leave. I'm out." Yeah, uh, you look uh, like man. He would have probably just practiced that, at, right? Like, I know it's been a while, but you know. Um, no, I, I, I took it a lot of, of uh, one. I don't know why I have to watch the red carpet. I'm right. Like, yeah, yeah I, didn't, I mean, I didn't that's, watch, that's, that's, that's one thing I didn't watch. It's, it's, it's fun because any, like I will at least start there, watch the first hour. So I had something else I had to go do. And then, and then we actually watched impact versus, uh, uh, um, Lucha instead. And then it was, it was like, I just treated it like a podcast where like, I'll oh, just listen to a little bit here and there yeah. in chunks. Cause you really can't slog through it's 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 rough it, it it is rough and if you don't care about you know if you're not of the era to to care about hillbilly jim's long-winded stories about the 80s and how he got started i mean I, you know by themselves they're, they're great but it gets a little long-winded after i while. started watching a little bit of that and i had to fast forward it i just I, it was just too much it was fine it, it was, was okay it's fine when I went back to it. I, I was a, I was a, I liked the Dudleys. I thought there was the Dudleys thought, were I, really I, good. I, I thought theirs was that, really good. That was good. Mark Henry's was fun. Yes, it was of, really long, but it was fun. A lot of spots. Like everybody now yeah. has to have some yeah. kind of gimmick thing happen during yeah. their speech. Like I don't know where this came from. I, I don't know if Kurt Angle is the one we have to blame for. Oh, this. It was Mick Foley. Was it Foley? Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he d- took an elbow drop to Jericho. Yeah, oh, and did the whole right. Santa thing. Oh, that's right. That's right. Fucking Foley. <laughs> Foley. <laughs> Foley. It was a good idea for Foley, but it ruined it for everybody else. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it, it's cool. And it kind of break, hopefully breaks that up, get some good memories out there and everything. The one thing I liked about Mark Henry's was when he made the plea for um, Owen Hart's widow to let them put him that in was the rough, Hall of Fame. Man. Yeah. I mean, that's that's something that really, really needs to happen. I mean, there's, there's so many people that have, have come out in public and said it. And for Mark Henry and that, and that stage to just come out and make that plea, I, you know, hopefully. I was surprised she was there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was too. But ho- hopefully that, that will get it done. And, you know, in the next year or two, he could be in there where he belongs anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think in due time, you know, everybody, you know, deservingly will be a part of that. So. Um, but again, you know, they make their picks for the year to kind of round that thing out. So I, I think it's, I I don't think it can be seen as a huge slight that so-and-so and so-and-so isn't there yet. Oh no, for sure. 
So, I mean, we go back to the Coco Beware comment. You yeah. Know. Well, Coco's in it. You know, so where, where's your bar? Well, you know, there's a lot of stories about people being upset because China wasn't in it this year. Mm-hmm. I I didn't I didn't see her going this year. I see her going next year in New York. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that absolutely makes sense. Because I I, I don't know. Because I think New New York it's going to be huge. I think they'll do Molly Holly over China. Oh, I can see <laughs> that. It's oh, safer. Oh, Beth Phoenix is in there too. Like that, it's yeah. so weird to me. Like that era of, of women's wrestlers are in the Hall of Fame, like already. Yeah. Like it seems like, like Ivory it was at it is like twenty years ago, right? And yeah. she's just getting. But we had Beth Phoenix, who was, you know, awesome. Yeah. But it just seems soon. I, I agree, you Molly know, Holly, because she's she's been there two years in a row inducting people, so I could yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So and she was she was good. She was a big yeah. part of that. No, she's so. she's been she's been good both both years. She inducted Ivory and uh, mm-hmm. Beth Phoenix. Um, favorite speeches. Or introductions or moments or anything, guys, out of that? I like the TLC little photo thing. Like that the was, Dudleys. That was, good. that was, yeah, that was that really was, good. That was probably the best one mm-hmm. that I saw. I didn't see the whole entire show. Yeah. I was just skimming through it, really. You didn't you get through the USA cut. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the USA cut that's like an hour long. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, only like, I, did, like, I did it willingly on the app. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, what about you? Um, I felt kind of bad for Christian being up there. With like I thought that was hilarious. Everybody. Yeah. Well, the that's the joke, them. you know. And actually, technically, half of them don't have rings. So oh, yeah, he's true. just in the half. Now, when the Hardys <laughs> get in and he's still not, now there's a little bit of. Yeah. He is the X Pac. Because, of that group. But, well, you know, well, you know, on the podcast, like that's the joke all the time. Oh yeah, like is is like yeah, so and so and so and so. Did you listen? And, and Christian took the pin. Did you listen to their you podcast know, yeah. last week where they were interviewing the, With the Hardys? Hardys? Yeah, I think I got through the, most of that. Matt Hardy was in his Woken gimmick the like yeah. most of the time, and it was. Hilarious. And apparently, Edge has never encountered the Woken gimmick in person before. And it was, it, it was, was and he kept like slipping uh, <laughs> back and forth into it. Uh, it, it, was, it was very funny. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I, I love that they're doing some good, good, interesting I, stuff. I, I like the, the, the spot that the Dudleys did when uh, Devon's trying to talk and Bo was like, you know, for 20 years, all you could say was testified. Now you want to do all this talking. <laughs> and then, and then Devon says, well, I'm management now, so I'm allowed to talk. <laughs> yeah. That got like some deep cuts. Yeah. During that one too. Uh, and, and really, really, uh, uh, inside jokes. <laughs> well, that was that was like the more. Um, I think it was last year the APA induction of Teddy Long. Mm-hmm. Like oh, that right. was the, that oh, was the yeah. whole backstage n- stories and, and yeah. stuff How like that. How much money he owes everybody. Well, that's yeah. that's the main reason people watch the Hall of Fame, though, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, to hear is. all that stuff. I mean, it was the first thing before we had podcasts where every wrestler was telling all the old stories. Yeah. You know that we heard the old stories. Right. Mm-hmm. So, and and I, I think some of that like kind of gets a little diluted now, but it's still it's still a fun thing for what it is. It's just a hard four and a half years. To be honest, one of my favorite things, um, JJ's speech. That was, was really funny. A lot yeah. of fun. That was a lot where of fun. he called out John Cena and the and the Miz and everything. Like that. Oh, was, that was that was that awesome. was a lot of fun. Like that was the cool. Yeah. That was the you know coolest of yeah when he when he when he when he says that stephanie and triple h made him feel so much like family that he feels like he's part of the wwe and he's got a better shot of having a a match at wrestlemania than john cena does yeah and then they they pan right to john cena that that was that was really really funny and the crowd loved it he's like he's like 15 right like it's he just doesn't look it because of the the growth issues right so uh, it was it was a lot of fun and it was really cool to see him featured on on something like that so um Anything else Hall of Fame that kind of sticks out for you guys? No, yeah. no. no. I, th- I thought it was cool to see the uh, the salmon color jacket for Mark Henry again, and his son wearing it. His son yeah, was, his and his son, son wearing it. His what is it? His friend calls it the the, the, li- the damn liar jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I thought that was good to see again. That's good. Well, he, that, that's a guy that's had an awesome career. It was cool to see him rejuvenated uh, a few years ago too. Um, all right, from the snooze to the wake the wake the fuck up show on Saturday night. Was NXT oh. NXT Takeover Riz Riz? You're making guttural noises in response to this, so I'm going to go with you first. What uh, what it was uh, what was your uh, kind of takeaway from the show? As long as the Hall of Fame was the, you couldn't tell that this this was a 
It was, it was two hours, correct? Yeah. This pay-per-view? Uh, no, it was two, three. two and a half. It was three. Two it, was three. Trying, it, it ended up being, it it ended up being three. I don't like that at all. It felt zone, like an hour. Time zone screwed me up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, like it, it felt, it, it, everything flowed. Everything was amazing. Mm-hmm. And it felt like it went quick. Like it went for an hour, mm-hmm. but it went that long, yeah, and, and, and I didn't want it to stop either. And, and that's the thing, uh, Bobby F J Towns in the chat room. You saying Takeover was Takeover was the best show of the weekend? Um, I think I think it always happens this way because Takeover mm-hmm. is the tightest show of the weekend. The it's show? The, the tightest, tight, T- and, tight, the tightest. tightest, not okay, tightest. World, worldwide, worldwide, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we gotta get it out now. Um, so, <laughs> but no, it, it, exactly. Like everything is so pinpoint. You know, I mean, they, they only had you know the amount of time, TV time they had to, the, you know, get these matches. You to give a crap about these matches, matches than, than everything else is is amazing, astonishing, even. Well, every match was like a main event, also. Oh yeah. You know, oh, there yeah. wasn't mm-hmm. there wasn't a bad match right. or a filler match. I in really. That show. I really, uh, with very few exceptions, I think the entire weekend was just main event match after main event match. Yeah, until the main event. Mm-hmm. Until <laughs> yeah, so we'll get to that discussion later. Yeah. Gonna, but but generally, generally, except for a few exceptions on Mania itself, it was like we got ma- just just the weekend yeah. of main event, which I think makes uh, you know kind of to a question later makes the weekend feel like that big weekend, right? We were watching mm-hmm. TakeOver on basically mute on Saturday be- because we didn't want to w- wake uh, uh, Kate's uh, niece up. Oh, okay. Um, but it, w- it was like just as exciting watching it with hardly any sound. Like we could barely hear Morrow doing commentary mm-hmm. and we were still like popping at the stuff that was happening. <laughs> Morrow has been <laughs> awesome lately. It was really good. I forget what match it was. They had this camera behind Moro. I, I can't, I'm trying to think. It might have been the the ladder match. Yeah, because that's where the lat the, the, the ladder was like on on the table, and there was one move, and I can't remember who it was. The, the shot of Moro jumping out of his seat in excitement. Like just pure unadulterated excitement for what's happening in front of them. That was like that. That was pretty damn cool shot to look at. Like just to see like him react to whatever's happening. Yeah, it was real. It was real commentating. Like mm. he was just reacting to what was happening. He wasn't like scripted or anything. Yeah, yeah. That's great. A few title changes, of course, on there. Um, uh, Adam Cole. Well, I think first of all, the the ladder match with. Adam Cole winning and then having a second match. <laughs> what? Um, that's one way to solve that problem, I guess. Um, of course, Bobby Fish um, uh, uh, got hurt and was not involved in the in the match, so uh, they just double duty Adam Cole, and there you go. Uh, no, it was a lot of fun with that. That was a little weird, like the way that that match came about. You know, it was for the Dusty Rhodes title, yeah. And I forget who tweeted that or commented. Um, but uh, they did that, and then we didn't feature the trophy afterwards. I think that tr- yeah, that was weird. I I think the whole like backstabbing thing kind of took, it took pre- yeah it took over it, yeah it kind of know? ruined the moment for like the trophy and everything you know yeah so it's like and I don't know if it was just a change with everything with the injury or something but you I know. don't think that I I wouldn't be surprised if that's how that was supposed to happen with Bobby yeah. Fish in there. You know, you think Cause, yeah, because I th- I think I think that uh, Roderick Strong's gonna get the U- uh, UK title now. Okay, makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're which, just gonna be a little mini evolution. Which it is making me because I'm realizing I, all I, adults. I, the idea of uh, Mustache Mountain UK versus Undisputed sounds pretty good. So, they could, they, they're finally a faction feud that, that yeah you know is gonna be pretty cool. Although you know, AO. Uh, Sanity and uh, AOP against them were, was was pretty decent war games too, but but that could be a lot more fun with that that group of people. So anything, I mean, yeah, uh, is is anything other than Gargano Champa show stealer for the night for you guys? Man, I, I, I mean, as good as everything else was. Every match, every match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry, sorry, ladies, for coming after the ladder match. <laughs> they had, oh, no, they... even that was 
That was pretty damn good. It was too. good. It was you, damn good. You know, but, it, but, but you were just like, but wow. They, they, they had that. no chance following the ladder no, match. They, no, 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 it, no. It didn't. It didn't matter what they did, and it, and it was a good match. But it didn't it matter amazing. what they did. They they had no chance against yeah. after the ladder they, match. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Um, the the the, the Champa Gargano match was, and, and I think we've seen this with Gargano the last few few, uh, like people were kind of upset about how Gargano um didn't get the belt last last time and everything right, but it was just like an awesome match to watch right, like right. awesome story and everything, and I think that was really kind of put over in this this one as well with uh with uh Champa. He doesn't need it though. Like he doesn't need the no, he doesn't need no, the belt. he doesn't. Like, Absolutely, he, he, not. he's got he's got enough compelling like storylines and stuff without yeah. it, and it's his works. Hmm. And if anything, and everybody's talking about you know with Mania about things that didn't pan out or become the dream match that they wanted, like like the Gargano Champa thing was everything I hoped for and more, and I thought it was great. Do yeah. you have any thoughts on on takeover stuff? I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, great. Right. You were busy. <laughs> a little bit. You were a little yeah. bit busy that night. Busy. And I know it, right. Billy was there too. So. <laughs> no, I will watch it. I, I do this weird thing where I like binge so, watch Wait, do we stuff. spoil everything for you? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, because oh. I I forget. I'm like a goldfish. I'll forget it by the time I Perfect. Like <laughs> In that case, let me tell you how Westworld's going to end too. Okay, no. And <laughs> if any, like, <laughs> I'm not no? a goldfish. No. Not a, you're not a goldfish. Don't and Game that. of Thrones, and uh, she, she did kind of have her hands full Saturday, and I, I, I must say, being there in the front row, I, I really enjoyed it. Yep, good. Um, but no, that that match, like the the callbacks to uh, Cruiserweight Classic, the you know you know fully like we got Psycho Killer Champa, you know, and uh, and and the crowd just yelling "fuck you, Champa." <laughs> That was that was was amazing. Oh man, that was loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, (laughs) like like, they couldn't they couldn't edit that out. No, no, there was no way they could. No, there's no suppressing something that loud without just going mute on on something like that. I think between that and the chant of "This is awful" for the main event of WrestleMania was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mm -hmm. that was pretty awesome. I mean, the best part was he came out to no music. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and and that was the best part about that whole thing like, the best part of his character is he gets that heat and he takes it all in during that entrance the crowd was like the entrance music like yeah. all that booing that was yeah that was, that was his entrance music i don't you know, know. And, and i'm curious it is it's, it's it was uncomfortable i try not to like look forward ahead uh too much and just want to take these in the moment but what does champa do next because champa has been the guy that fucks over Gargano like exclusively. Yeah. He can. I, I think he can, he can carry that over to uh, anyone. He can, he can. No, no. He could just start with somebody else, yeah. you know, and be like, "I have a problem with you now." You know, I love a callback to Ring of Honor if he just starts messing with Nigel again. Because the announcer. Yeah, because yes. uh, Nigel was a uh, authority figure at Ring of Honor at the time, and he. This is when I think he was first doing the Psycho Killer gimmick, right? And and he would come out of the crowd. He got fired. He was coming out of the crowd and interrupting shows and and trying to you know I think beat up Nigel and everything. I, I can't remember where that storyline went. Yeah, I think Nigel but, was Nigel was like the GM and when Champa yeah. left Ring of Honor, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. So I would love to like personally. I kind of like to see it. since we're hey since we're calling back everything else Ring of Honor these days over there. Why, why not? Why why the hell not? Right. Uh, but who's to say that this can't continue though? Like, oh, it's going to continue. I mean, Gargano's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. He won his job back, so he's going to be in NXT again. So is Champa. If this needs to turn into a little bit of the Owens and um, um, Sami Zayn situation, where mm-hmm. if Gargano, like you know, there was like what Daniel Bryan was like, oh, I'd love to have him on SmackDown if he gets you know loses in NXT, right? Like, let's say Superstar Shakeup, hypothetically, like Gargano gets called up. And has his first match, right? Champa is falling right behind him to mess up his mm-hmm. day. You know, like it just continues, like you know, again that Owen Sammy thing where like I'm always a step behind you to to, to ruin your day. You know, right. between the two of them. Um, of course, and of course, there's this interesting friend enemy thing happening now. But but again, like I'm not too far behind you. And and that thread that just happens kind of throughout their careers, I could see a very similar situation. So. It could be fun. And the DIY reunion, you know, five years from now when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
No, it was a fun show, and and again, um, I I you, you see a show like that, and and you know we always like, uh, and I'm not even concerned about like how many people got called up. We saw the last uh, two days on the main shows. Um, that show is going to be fine. Oh yeah, just take <laughs> that five person five person was it ladder match, and extend that through uh, the rest of a card and individual six, yeah. matches. Give me a Velveteen Dream EC3 match tomorrow, please. Oh yeah, you know I mean or yeah. or. Give me Lars and uh, Killian. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah. you know that's going to yeah. happen. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's, I mean, they got so much good stuff happening down there these days. On Sunday, I, I was just looking at the – there was the access match, like an access card for NXT. Yeah. They were, uh, yeah. And uh, it was Keith Lee versus Lars Sullivan. Mm-hmm. I would give my left leg to get over there and watch that. That's awesome. Yeah, they were doing fun stuff there at Access. It, it was like progress championships and everything like that were being defended, like mixed in with a lot of the NXT stuff. I thought you that know, was cool. Again, a lot of this kind of indie integration happening there and then, you know, kind of seeing little clues and surveys of, would you like to see Ring of Honor as part of W Network? You know, ideas like that. So, which also, hey, Ring of Honor just rebooted their kind of online situation too. So, WWN is doing stuff with WWE. So, like, there's this interesting, like, you know, it's not us or nothing, you know, ecosystem happening anymore. It's, it's, they're embracing this wrestling that happens around WrestleMania as well. Cause there was a few, like, I think when they were in New York last, it, it felt like they were trying to shove out all that other stuff. And I think they're finally seeing, well, no, this is part of the attraction to bring us back. Cause now, you know, there's people, I'm sure. There are people, I know there's wrestlers and referees I know that have gone down there and don't intend mm-hmm. anything having to do with WWE that weekend. Right. But WWE being there is a part of people being in that town and spending all that money on your town, which yes. is the whole point, right? Yes. Um, like it's it's just incredible to see that like wrestling just absolutely takes over a city like that. And and we have a lot of friends that were down there. I know uh, Alex Miller just bumped into Mad Mike and Matt and the Carlins in, on the street, you know, just randomly, uh, you know, that kind of cool thing. Uh, um, Rick Diamond of, of Black Diamond was down there hanging out. It was cool to watch his stuff down yeah. there. What, did they hear you sent him down there or something? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Are you his? Are you his sponsor? Are you a kind WrestleMania of, sponsor? Kind of, well, you know, I, I, I couldn't. Be I know there. you're involved over there I, at BDW a little I bit now. I couldn't be there myself, so yeah. I had to send somebody there for the company. There you go. Well, there you go. I had, to, I had to send a surrogate yeah. out there. Now so. next year, I'm going myself, and I'll send the pictures oh, back to everybody. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. New York, New York, and I found. Oh out yes. That. And I can't go. <laughs> That's so sad. We'll say we'll send pictures back. Yes, yes, but no, no. But it was it's awesome that and the connect. The, and I know even the, the hearing about the connections that were made out there with some new friends of the show out and, there. And I will so. get my chop in on Mad Mike. You get your chop on Mad Mike. Oh yeah. He's you know Mad Mike's due for another visit to Pittsburgh. Yes. I'm just saying, yes. throwing that out there. I know he's yes. busy right now watching 205 Live. No, yes. no, still nope. SmackDown actually. Yes. Still SmackDown uh, at Bryan. this point. By the way, it's Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. So uh, but by the, yeah. By the way, it's yeah. just that. wow. You wow. Know, you know, kind of going back to what you were talking about with NXT. Um, don't we usually have a conversations like this, like when they, they have big call-ups from NXT to the main roster? Yeah. You know, we always kind of wonder, you know, what's going to happen in NXT? You know, how much is it going to hurt it? This is one time. There's that. This discussion's oh, yeah. not even there. Don't even. No, yeah. yeah. Don't worry about authors of pain. We got War Machine Day yeah. doing any day and now. Exactly. Right. I mean, it's it's it, 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 it's completely. Yeah. This is one of the few. Um, this is uh, one of the few times that we don't have to say what's going to happen in NXT now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ember Moon's gone. You have everybody from Mae Young Classic, including Be- uh, Bianca Belair. They're not gone. Who is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have talent coming out the ass. Like, just, just coming out of the woodworks everywhere. No way Jose gets called up. Mm-hmm. You're going to have somebody else who can connect with the crowd as much the as buds are back baby that means more familiar faces popping up yes. when they come to town not to be quite honest so because i mean the list of people we know that have been rosebuds is is i mean you know you don't one of them could be the next brawn and elias <laughs> let's or, hope let's hope they please don't water these guys down in the main roster now because they've been so good in NXT. oh absolutely absolutely I mean, it's yeah, always, that's always my concern 
whenever they get caught yeah. up. Like I'm so happy for them, but I feel like they get up to the main roster and they do not know what to do with them in that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's the bigger crowd. I don't know if it's because it's a whole different dynamic up there, but I just get so nervous and like so happy in the mm-hmm. general, but so nervous. You're like, here. Good luck. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think it is a, it is a mix between them, their personalities and that different writing style yeah. or, you know, however you describe that, you know, how those shows are put together. You know, it's a big difference doing a pre-taped hour a week show versus live two to three hours. Right. I mean, it's just, you know, and finding your spot in there and, and where you fit in that puzzle is, is a lot, lot different. So, um, Strike producer Missy. I want to hold that up again. Hold that up again. I have a message from the general manager of Wrestling Mayhem Show, <laughs> uh, which actually I was about to bring up. Rohemoth brings up uh, that Dakota Kai wrestled six times this weekend. Yeah. From. Oh, oh, he says hi, Brad. Okay. Hi, hi, Rohemoth. <laughs> Wait, is there a strike? I love a protest. I'll go back there with Missy. Yeah, no, no yeah. <laughs> producer Missy's on strike back there uh, for some reason. It's something about that we didn't buy ink for the printer, so can't work under these conditions. It's apparently going down. I thought that's the reason something, I heard up here. Something, I don't know. something about ink. I think I saw it on a post-it note. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, uh, you, you, the, so the uh, Dakota Kai wrestling six times. I know uh, a friend of the show, DJ Z. Nobody. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Mac, Mike's usually here to do that right away. So, but he's in. He was in the crowd. I was waiting for somebody Friday. else to do it. So, how about DJ Z on the pre-show? Uh, but but wait, who was on the pre-show? No, it was Mustafa Ali stole his gimmick. Oh oh, the oh oh oh! There's a lot oh. of that actually. Aerostar came out with some glowy shit too, but it was pretty cool. Oh wait! Oh wait! Is it? Wait! 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 Why did you try it? <laughs> draw a turkey. On uh, on that why and why is the turkey facing? It me? is not Thanksgiving. Is it is not a, Thanksgiving. What is? <laughs> that's weird. That's strange. Um, <laughs> well, it's, you just blocked. You just you just blocked the boss with the boss. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, nothing to see here. Uh, DJ Z wrestled. It, it, many of you saw uh, the Impact versus Lucha with uh, uh, him on there in a six man, but the, he wrestled four times that day. Just that mm-hmm. day. So I, I, great to see, again, guys like that taking advantage of the weekend too, right? And and getting themselves out there and, and hopefully getting in front of new audiences and, and a very appreciative audience. So it, it's really cool. And, Where was uh, Will Ospreay wrestling that weekend? Because I saw he had a new t-shirt. Probably like 12 places, to be quite honest. He, I saw he had a new t-shirt. There was uh, a Revolution Pro show, so I'm sure he was involved okay. with that. He was uh he he made a new t t shirt to pay for his fines from yeah. the Louisiana Athletic Commission. Yeah, yeah. Osprey. All the flips he was gonna be. It was doing. like Osprey versus the Louis Louisiana Athletic Commission. Yeah, something like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why when they started pulling up the uh the pads in the uh Champa Gargano match, and I'm like, Oh, the commission's gonna be oh. pissed. <laughs> <laughs> After Ricochet, I would have thought they had a heart attack. Jeez, they just they just they just have <laughs> a money a machine. Shooting star off you of the know, ropes. you know, I imagine just there's a guy in the back with a badge because I imagine they're like the guys here in PA uh, that I've seen roll into some wrestling shows, and he's just there, and it's like like the Demolition Man when you swear and you get the ticket thing. Mm-hmm. You know, they're just All like right. they're just like some WWE accountant just 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 check marking and and handing them uh, like another check for every other uh, Rick move. <laughs> You know, or like uh, backflip, flying pile driver. You know, I forget what all was on the list. They you like know? print it out at the end of the night. It's still like hot out of the printer, and yeah. they hand it to him. Like here you yeah. go. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. We're like, yeah, sorry. We we can pay for it. You know, you know. Uh, it, Impact Wrestling, maybe no. What? He, 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 here, here's his. Uh, he, he, he does. He does all those moves, and he get, comes back and gets the tickets. And instead of getting paid, you, you owe us five hundred. I mean, here, you know, here's the biggest news. Alex Miller's in there mentioning. Um, um, it's not everybody survived the weekend, uh, at least in employment status. Uh, Del Rio apparently no show in the Impact versus Lucha mm-hmm. show. After being at a press conference for the pay per view coming up on April twenty second for Impact Wrestling this month, that was advertised on said show, and that's how I found out about it because uh, I didn't know Impact still does pay per views that aren't one <laughs> night only. Eh? Yeah, um, I didn't know you still do pay per view when you have to do casting calls for audience members in Canada. I, I don't know. 
and, and film like three months at a time. Um, but uh, so that's going to be an awkward thing. That it'll sh- make the show better. <laughs> it'll make the show better. Him not being. I am not a fan of him these days on so many levels. Uh, and somebody was like, well, maybe he'll show up in WWE this weekend. I'm like, I, no. I was Jeez, so I glad he didn't not, show up. Not with Paige's general manager now. Spoilers if you're not watching. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> although there was, this was good about uh, uh, um, just them dropping a I hear TNA is hiring. Oh, Kurt, Kurt Angle last night was amazing. That, that, yeah, that had was... that had been live, right? That was live. Yeah. Well, they've never addressed their competition before. No, like my friend never. brought no. that up in another type of like live podcast thing I was <laughs> in last night. Outside Not of, in, yeah, yeah, outside the the Monday Night Wars era, and they barely did there, right? AJ so. brought it up on Ride Along last yeah, week. Yes. Yeah, but that that was the first time I've heard it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are different, though. I feel like they can get away with a lot yeah. more on those. But those they could shows. they could edit it out if they wanted. To, they've made you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, and they like, made TNA they jokes on um on uh, Edge and Christian. They actually one of them was like, "Is WWE ever going to acknowledge AJ's TNA career?" And yeah. then just the three of them laughing about it, you know, like things like that. That, you know? that was amazing how they set that up with with Sam, Sammy and Kevin Owens. Mm-hmm. They commended trying to get a job with Kurt Angle, and you know, they, he's like. Uh, so you, got, you guys can wrestle each other, and then he's like, you know, TNA's hiring. It's like, I mean, just like that quick, and it was like, I mean, it was like, like even hear the crowd in the, in the in the arena going, ah. So somebody confirmed this with me when when that show comes on here in a little bit, but uh, um, I really I really expect them to show up on two hundred five live and trying to make weight. <laughs> oh my but god! There was a conversation at some point about whether Sami Zayn um could could make 205 live i think he used to lose like five or ten pounds and he'd be all right for it right i think he's a little big you think he's a little big for that he, he, no? he can't be much bigger than buddy murphy though no well, she's buddy you telling me buddy murphy is a cruiserweight you yeah. see him in person thank you thank I'm you like, they weighed him they weighed him they weighed him yeah. like he he, he was made, at 204 he probably hit 204 that week yeah. and then it was like all right gas back up but yeah. you know it was just it's, it's it's ridiculous i mean he's amazing I, i'm glad he's there but it's it's you well, know. they they haven't been on SmackDown yet tonight, so, and I don't think they will in the last in the next. Three no, minutes. no, no, maybe they'll do something around the shakeup. Maybe they'll just disappear for a few months and do something. I I don't know. Um, it could be could be interesting. Maybe NXT. NXT. <laughs> you think it'll just? Show, I was wondering about that. They'll just show up at NXT <laughs> or or aren't they, what, what's another? Maybe they'll show up at the UK tournament. Um, yeah. May Young. <laughs> you know, maybe they'll <laughs> put maybe, a wig on and go to the May Young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What I'm here for the tournament. I what like you... them showing up places like in Step Brothers, just like trying to get hired together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that that's gonna be their new gimmick is they just yeah. show up with I'm just like, waiting for them to go on Total Divas. Well maybe Divas. Yeah, Total yeah, Divas. Or the or the Miz show. Maybe they will show up on TNA though. I don't know. Just because. Well, I don't know. I mean if they uh, Or they should start up random indies, you know, all these ones. Yeah. Like here they are in progress. Here they are in uh uh, uh Evolve. Lucha. Why not? Lucha, why not? You know? Uh, that'd be They'll great. be in the crowd. Yeah, yeah, just hanging out. I mean, uh, ne- next week they show up with lucha mask on. Hey, Ricardo Rodriguez was. Uh, uh, oh, El Generico. El Generico next week. <laughs> oh. El Generico and El uh, uh, um, um, <coughs> Fito uh, or something. Yeah. So El yeah, bowling ball. Yeah. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm catching up with the chat here as well. Um, but anyways. So let's get uh, let, let, let's say so let's give a thanks to uh, some of our friends out here that have been supporting the show and uh, we'll get to some WrestleMania talk. I've already creeped into a little bit of discussion, but I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza uh, for a good long time here, and uh, and and now on Grubhub by the way. If you guys are local, I know there's a lot of you guys all around, but I know when uh, you, you do swing by Pittsburgh, that you guys always uh, swing by and get some slice. I've seen the tweets and I really do appreciate it. Um, those guys have been do, uh, doing some really cool things. Of course, uh, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, is our location for them. I've seen some really cool pictures they've been doing around opening day. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, over in Carnegie, PA, here at Beachview, the OG one, and right up the road from the studio, and uh, over in East Liberty. Please uh, let them know the mayhem sent you. And disclaimer, if you've heard the past uh, ads for this, please do not kick the door down. I, I know you're excited, but please just... Go in, say hi. The Mayhem Show sent me. I'm finally healed up from when I did. So. I won't hurt hurt you. What's happening? I'm finally healed <laughs> You're up. You're finally from when healed I did. up. B- Billy was in a boot for like three months yeah. because that door is serious because they knew you were coming. But Billy did loosen it, so it might actually go down if you kick no, it. Yeah. No, no, you no, might have, no. You might have a shot up, but it won't yeah. be me that does it. 
Dave, you know Dave Potter is gonna gonna take the next shot at it, right? Oh yeah, like, no you doubt. know that's happening for sure, Jeez. for sure. Now that you've done him know that you didn't well, tell him. Well, you know what though, I kept hearing on the show, kick the door and kick no, the door, and so I no. go and try to kick the door and no. I and it broke my when foot. Nobody <laughs> listens to the immediate no afterwards. After your producer strike is over, you should talk to her about putting a legal disclaimer on this show before and afterwards. <laughs> we already have a parental discretion on this one. <laughs> you, yeah, you might sorry. be right. The, the legal disclaimer <laughs> might be might be necessary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, support your friends. Say hi. I just thank them for supporting the show. If you're not around, uh, slice on Broadway dot com. All right. What? What did Alex Miller do? Kick? Don't kick. No, don't kick. we're not saying that. No, we're not saying that on the yeah. air. We're not saying that on the air. door. If only Ruth wasn't holding me back. Huh, okay. Um, anyway, so there was this thing called I, WrestleMania. Yeah. I, I, I got to stop you for a minute. Uh, okay. I didn't know this until now. Are we breaking format? Now. Okay. Kind of, sort of. But I just want to throw out that Joey Janela is all of us. Joey <laughs> Janela is great. Uh, because he punched Frank the Clown in the face during his... Uh, <laughs> During his uh, GCW spring, uh, Janela's spring break, spring break show. Okay. And it's amazing. I, I retweeted it on the Mayhem Show account. It's a good point to kind of like, what what weird stuff did you see from this weekend? Because there was Jerry Lawler throwing a foot uh, a fireball at Jer- Joey Ryan's crotch. Fantastic. That was amazing, right? I would like to say that I didn't watch that, but you somebody posted on the mayhem page yeah the screenshot of it the screenshot and, and i and didn't clip. i didn't realize what it was because the way it was paused it looked like just a flaming dong that's the point jo- that, that, that was part of the jo- point of the picture actually okay. all right yeah that's what i was yeah. wondering because cool. so, I, I i thought he did so that to himself you so you i thought there was a light behind him i didn't realize there was a fireball because there was so because it was it's, it's like jerry lawler like looking down with his hands out like he's presenting to it, yeah. And then he's and he's, and he's, and I didn't realize it didn't dawn on me until I saw the the GIF that it was a fireball, and he was dressed as Andy Kaufman, mm-hmm. which makes sense because of intergender wrestling, which is a whole other discussion uh, that I want to get to. But um, <laughs> I know yeah, somebody uh, has thoughts over here. It's that's I can't wait to get them out. Uh, but uh, no, yeah. So so I had the same reverse. You know, yeah. kind of thing. But but again, was, just, was that Joey Janela spring break thing? Um, uh, no, that was a different thing. I think. Also, shouts to our friends um, who who uh, got to be kaiju for the night because there was a midnight kaiju big battle on Sunday night. Oh yeah, Sean Phoenix. Sean Phoenix got there. to get in there, right? And I hear some other friends might be popping up in kaiju <laughs> as well. So not that you'll know because they're in giant foam suits, but still. It's gotta be a blast. You never know. Somebody could get their block knocked off. See what I did. Is that there. a Dr. Cube joke? I think that was a Dr. Okay, that's a Dr. <laughs> Cube joke. Okay. All right. If you haven't had a chance, uh, Kaiju Big Battle is actually coming to town here. Uh, July seventh. July seventh. Um, I I might have to skip RWA for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's a that's a conflict. Uh, anyways, okay, back to back to WrestleMania. Things happened for <laughs> several hours. <laughs> Several hours. Started at five in the fucking afternoon. (laughs) It started yeah five five, five in the afternoon. afternoon. I was still at work. It was technically I was because it was two p.m. when it started on the West Coast. (laughs) I I was literally watching the cruiserweight match in my lift back to the back to the hotel. So I was like, I got to get into this, you know. Um, I was disappointed with that match. Well, what the cruiserweight match? Yeah, I thought that was the worst match at WrestleMania. What? Yeah, not that it was a bad match. It just no. wasn't anything special. It just the build. It was like, just. It was a normal two hundred five. It live was a cruiserweight match. match in front of seventy thousand people. Yeah, they could have. They could have made that a better match. But it happened on USA Network as well. This is the thing we, we got to remember. Like that for that that second hour. The all the more reason why it should have been a better match. Okay, yeah, that's true. Right? At least the people were in the stands. <laughs> I mean, how many, we've watched pay per views where the people were, the yeah, weren't yeah. in in a stand mm-hmm. for the first two or three. Battle matches. Royal was a little light, yes, right, and there was a lot of cool stuff that happened there. We we have Bray Wyatt and Hardy now yeah. as a thing. Yep. I'm all about I like that. it. I'm, 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 that's in, that's interesting to me. You know, it's wonderful, and it was it is wonderful. It's delightful, and it sounds like from podcasts and 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 comments and interviews, like we will get more more 
uh, uh, final deletions and things like that. Michael Cole's on the list. He, he is on the list. Hey, you know, if he could be, uh, if he could have the coal mine at, at WrestleMania, I think we can oh definitely get him out to. He should be That's there. Like, they should. He should invite him in person to the compound to commentate. Right. <laughs> Michael Cole, I knew you'd come. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, there's a chair. There's a mower of lawns T-shirt now. Yes, there is. So <laughs> yes, amazing. there is. As there should That's be. So I want to. I want to get it and wear it while I'm mowing my lawn. I don't have a riding mower. I have a small yard, but still, like just for the visual, you know. Um, yeah. Okay. Other than that, uh, can we talk about the the Divas Cup that was literally shaped like a diva cup? Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've yes been, we've been With but i love it yes fucking yes. ovaries yes. i i'd love to ribbons. hear yes what the fuck <laughs> they had oh they had they had to make it uh like not offensive at the last minute <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's awesome hey when's wrestling yep. wait still like you could have handed them a like a gynecological a uterus. poster that you see at the doctor's office with congratulations that, written on it, and it had about the exact same feel. Like I spray feel, painted gold. I feel like that's one of those things where it was a joke from somebody who shouldn't have been making the joke, and they gave it to Vince, and it says that looks good. It's the same guy who did you the Great Vince. Balls of Fire. What, what did I yeah, say? yeah. So, so Vince wrote the joke, and he yeah. said, huh, "Yeah, well, good. Vince wrote." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What if it looked like this? And he draws a picture. Hey, like, everybody thinks that looks everybody like... didn't like me, uh, the, um, the moolah, so let's put in a that. <laughs> it's like a yeah. revenge to the fans that didn't like all the yeah. things, the horrible things moolah did, apparently. Jeez. Oh, not apparently. She actually did all that stuff, I think. She, she was a horrible human well, it, being. We get, She's, okay, yeah. aside from that. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Okay, yes. Larry's right. It's probably the same guy that came up with the Great Balls of Fire pay-per-view. It's oh, that was Vince. That, guy. that was Vince That's also well. Vince? That's yeah, also that was Vince. Vince as well. That, yeah, that, that Vince, had to be. Vince doesn't have a lot of, like, 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 Triple H is, like, the only one trying to convince him, right? Yeah. And we're like, well, I, I don't know. I don't know, Vince. It just seems a little, this seems like it could go uh, uh, an odd way, you know? I don't know about that logo, Vince, with the Great Balls of Fire. It looks a little suggestive. Uh yeah, it's like it's like he's just you know he's a billionaire. He control the rest of the world, right? We've said it for two weeks. It's great to hear Badger say it though. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Um, let's stay on the women's wrestling. I I contend that um, Charlotte and Oscar was. I don't count certain things because they were more spectacle because of who was involved in them, but match of the night, like pure match of the night like it, it absolutely i'm trying to think what else was on there on on the seven yeah, hours of wrestling yeah I, I, it's just hard to remember everything. yeah you're just kind of rolling through in your we head. discussed it last week who what everybody thought was gonna be the match of the night and i think a couple a couple of people we had said that would be the match of the night yeah i think we were kind of calling for it being a main the, event the one i the Even. one i liked the one that i thought was gonna be the match of the night was was pretty good too it's a triple threat for the Inter- intercontinental title yeah i thought that opened threat. a show i thought that mm-hmm. was really that was good. A good one um, Triple Threat or Nakamura was like my two big ones, mm-hmm. like my vote. I was a little disappointed by the Nakamura one, but that, fin- that the finish made it made up for it. Absolutely, I, and I it's, was, it's <laughs> I was just where was I was okay. Was I having this discussion with you, Billy, or with the guy at Slice on Broadway about Nakamura? About uh, about we have several more. Months oh me, of this. yeah, we I talked think, about that. I think both of us had this conversation yeah. tonight. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the the you know, hey, this is the beginning, guys. You know. A lot of things ended at Mania, but some things are just the first chapter, which, you know, actually, they legitimately straight up said this as well. Um, You know, that is, you know, we already know here in Pittsburgh, we we saw the ad, they're advertising, we'll see if it happens, Corbin, Nakamura, and AJ for the title. So that kind of gives an idea of what might be happening, right? So see how we get there. Um, It's going to be a hair versus hair match. It's going to be a hair versus hair match. (laughs) Okay. Guess who's not winning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the lone wolf with and his tag team partners. You, you know what though? We, um, we we did talk about that, but the the one thing is, um, the the it's kind of sad though because it was so late in the card and the the crowd you could see was slowly. Which I'm glad Charlotte Oscar wasn't. I'll that be late too. In the card. It's like a but death you can see the, the crowd was kind of like 
trying to catch our second win. And of course, half of the, them have been drinking since of, 7 a.m. in the parking lot. Of course, once the main event come around, they got their second win and they were ready for it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I want to keep it positive for a moment still. <laughs> so, um, no, 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 I think, you know, the women's title match was good. Um, I think even the other women's title match was good for what it was, too. But it was pretty much what it, I kind of expected out of it, yeah. too. Um, great to see Nia Jax get that and, and just just fall apart at the end, too. But, but rightfully so, right? I mean, that was awesome. I yeah. was crying. I'll just... I was, <laughs> I think, were you I the was one that tweeted sobbing. that? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like... So, like like my husband was like, are you crying? Cause I don't, we, we have a thing where I'm, I, well, I am heartless, but like he'll make me watch like these movies that are supposed to like make people cry. And I'm like, mm, he's just trying to force emotion out of you. I guess. I, I don't know what it is. Like you made me one watch day the, I'll make you crack. Like you made me watch the elephant man. And he was like mad that I didn't cry. And I was mm-hmm. like, I mean, it's sad. Like, but he went to sleep. Like, I don't know. Well, I guess what she did to Mickey was kind of like the elephant. Oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus. (laughs) Oh, my God. Kind of. Do you think Mickey ever showed up at ringside with seven inch heels again? No. (laughs) After that. Why was Mickey dressing like her trailer park aunt? (laughs) Like leading up to Mania? I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Hardcore country. That's, that's her, apparently. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's is that like her, her? That's how she yeah, dresses. That's her. When oh. I've seen her at shows. That's like a that's, shame. Like I mean, that, I, should, I, I shouldn't say it. Like, you, you can dress however the fuck you want. Well, it like, was like, I got sad. You're that gorgeous. Like, yeah. Well, it's like, I get, I get sad that Sarah Logan gets all like Kentucky hick, right? Oh, don't even get me started <laughs> on that one. No. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Dreadlocks are really fucking popular now. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not, yeah. She had her shit in like a week. <laughs> she like went she went somewhere and got she looked like she's had dreads for six years and after like having them for two weeks and i'm sitting here with this fucking rat's nest like trying to make it a tv appropriate and it's like fuck you <laughs> so bad. No, she, no, no no in all seriousness no, she's awesome i was i was really like she's one that i follow really mm-hmm. closely because i think she's gonna she's gonna slowly but surely be one of the top competitors because she's so good she is she's so goddamn good every time i knew like crazy mary dobson was on a card i was like okay this is gonna be i watched her matches like yeah like with because i don't i really don't watch a lot of honestly i don't watch a lot of this stuff now other than like if i just want to make sure like i'm not doing the same shit as someone on tv because there's kind of like a stigma around that i don't know why but um I bought like she was one of the ones like I had like watched every match on YouTube of her and just like a couple other people. But um, uh, Dave, Dave's saying in the chat, that I'm thinking that's the real Mickey. Uh, she's a middle aged Southern Cougar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what saying, she's going saying, for. You, you, you think I'm thinking, yeah, hardcore country. Um, <laughs> so, and the other thing, I, and I know you have some commentary on the um, the mixed tag that turned into an intergender match with uh, Ronda Rousey. Ronda looked good. Oh, oh my god. god! Holy crap! I think she's in the best shape of her life right now. Yeah, like, I she's like pure muscle. Just like I was so happy. I think she's better. She, she's in better shape now than when she was in fucking octagon. Oh yeah, and, and and she fit into everything. There was no awkward anything to this. She they, looked yeah. like they did some camera magic on that match, though. I don't even know if it was oh? camera magic. I think well, she fucking stepped up. It was like. She knew that everyone was going to watch her, and they either wanted to see her fail or mm-hmm. they wanted to see her shine like she did. We've seen the, uh, you know, Dennis Rodman is in a wrestling match kind of stuff, yeah. right? Like, he come in, she, do a clothesline, a couple moves, and, and that's it, And I was it, not right? completely cheering for her because I have a weird thing about her really taking a lot of Piper stuff because Piper holds a very, very dear place in my heart. Mm-hmm. And when she came out at the Rumble with his jacket on, like, like, that's fucking Rod's jacket and the shirt and the colors and whatnot. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you know, before, like, she got his blessing and mm-hmm. it was like, cool. But I, there was just something I was like. I was conflicted um, uh, uh, when sexy Roddy Piper came out at WrestleMania. Oh, my God. I was, I was, I was, I was like, like, I'm just like, I don't know what to feel like. <laughs> like. Like she just got off her shit from the tilted kilt and made, <laughs> it, to <laughs> and made it to WrestleMania. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one if of the were, that's if, one of the thoughts in my head. If that would have been a low cut T shirt, she would have been working tilt to kilt. Yeah, that's all I was missing, right? Um, 
<laughs> no, it was it was a good match. It was amazing. It was, really, it was, it was, it was really yeah. Good. I don't want to take away from that. But it was no, the, she she brought it like she she put the work in and it obviously mm. showed because she brought there was there was some shit that was a little sloppy, but it's like Jesus Christ. I mean, there that's wasn't her, much. No, there wasn't. That's what I mean. For a like, legitimate, like regardless of her background, first sh- first shot on TV, and there are plenty of people that have come from MMA, other sports that had couldn't even come up through the system, right? So for her to do that. You know, well, you know, they obviously saw something going into it that she could. Or go in the other direction. Yeah. Go to MMA and. Yeah. My biggest problem was her over was her at Takeover, being like friends with like Shayna Baszler and stuff, where she's like, she is. I know, but she's like the biggest asshole in the company right now. Have you watched MMA? (laughs) I'm just saying, (laughs) everybody's an asshole. There are no nice guys in the UFC. Just get rid of that right away. But she's a baby face. You you worry about nobody being a heel in in WWE (laughs) these days? Nobody's a good guy in UFC. (laughs) Everybody's a kick-ass asshole, and that's it. That's just. I, I don't. I don't want to spoil it for you, but a year and a half ago, uh, Shayna Baszler showed up at uh, AIW. Mm-hmm. All four horsewomen showed up, and I remember that. And Ronda Rousey mm-hmm. came to the ring with Shayna Baszler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All four of them came come out together. Mm-hmm. Spoiler. I remember one of the, one of them is uh, uh, Roddy's uh, Roderick Strong. Yes. Don't say Roddy so close to the Roddy Piper yes, discussion. Yes. Um, so, and I don't know the fourth. I'm not sure of the was. fourth one. I'm not. I'm not an MMA follower. So no, me neither. Unless CM Punk's get his ass kicked. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, again. Uh, uh, again. Yeah. Oh, it okay. is happening again. Oh, no, it's, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again no, and again no, just and again. Yeah. But he loves hanging out at, at WrestleMania weekend and signing autographs. At yeah. least. Yeah. You know. Oh really? Of, was he? Yeah, he was. That's I believe funny. he was. Holy he was at the, shit. He was with Pro Wrestling Tees down there. He was getting yeah. back ribs by Batista. I, I missed <laughs> that. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. What? Yes, I heard, I, I heard that. He's getting back ribs from Batista? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, man. I was really... I, like, there was a moment where I'm like, yeah, he's going to be Braun's partner, right? Uh, no, oh, my that's, God. No. <laughs> Why? That, were, that threw sword, everyone no. off. That no, threw sword, everyone off. Yeah. No, no. No, no, no. And do you know who that kid okay, was? Yeah. Who was that kid? That kid was one of the ref's sons. Yeah. yeah. John, what John Cone's fucking son. bullshit. The kid that ref, the, the guy that refed the fucking, match. Fucking nepotism. I thought, I, 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 thought I, it, you I thought it was yeah. one of the Make-A-Wish yeah. kids. Yeah, when I thought yeah. it was a Make-A-Wish kid, I was like, that's really amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I found out it was the ref's kid, and I was like, fuck you. But it explains why he was sitting so far back, and they had a hard time finding him. Yeah. Because if it was a Make a Wish kid, he would have been the front row. That's right. If he was like one of the superstars right. kids, he would have been the front row. If you, if Rev, you if, he probably had to pay for that ticket. If you watch the <laughs> end, if you watch the end of the Shane and Daniel Bryan match when Shane goes over to see his family, one of the kids looks just like the Nicholas kid. I mean, I, that's who I thought it was at first. That's the long hair, too. the long hair, kind of had the look. I'm thinking, now what the hell are doing with Shane's kid? Yo, know, been really great if it was the Miz girl. Oh, yes. Right, the Miz you know? girl. Yeah, the one that when she when he won was it when he won the world title. Oh, I was, oh yeah, yes. Yeah. We beat John and Cena. We beat John Cena for the world title, <laughs> and there's this girl in the crowd, and you get like, you see it like pop up all the time when they're talking about Miz and reactions and stuff. Yeah. It just has this face like. <laughs> it's like the yeah. meanest like she's just arms crossed she's pouting like, yeah, like having oh, a yeah. real pout, <laughs> and, and they actually found her and brought her to Raw the next week. <laughs> Yes. To she do a, a to do a bit. What's that? You want a slammy? She won a slammy. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. So if you're always wondering about those crowd shots, make sure you're playing up for them. <laughs> yeah, might get a slammy. I don't think you get money for the slammy like you do a whole fame ring. But uh, fucking children. <laughs> fucking ch- what well, ruined in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the quote. That's the pull quote from this episode for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, um, Punk Punk is past the fifth grade too old for Braun. Uh, what? Uh, oh, what? CM Punk? Sure. Oh yeah, CM yeah. Punk is past right. the fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's weird. Um, somehow I hit fast forward on the stream and I didn't know that was a possibility. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? But no, that how? I I know people are like that was weird. You know that they should have done so much more with Braun on WrestleMania. One that was a moment. To, it was fun. It was different. It, it was, was but it's a shame it when fine. they waste. Like Braun's actually one good and mm. two entertaining. Well, mm. here's the, here's the, here's my counter argument to that is they had a, a stacked tag team division that All they could right. have had in that tag team match. But they also could and have had him carry both there. of the tag titles. And yeah, be like, yeah. I'm he did. Too- 
basically. Well, he did, but I'm saying keep it like going. But, yes. but he he told us for a month he didn't need a partner. Yeah, yeah. So he basically went and got a no partner. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just that he he made it part of the show to walk through the crowd. Which, if you're sitting in a crowd, how awesome would that have been? Have have Braun wa- walk by you twice, and then like even though even though it's the ref's kid, I mean the the kid was in a rape and it looked like he was scared to death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you though? Oh, yeah. I, I'd have loved oh, it. Oh yeah. No, I would have been terrible. <laughs> He's like, like at Braun's knee, shit like. My pants. <laughs> Like Braun could have actually knocked him out just like walking too fast. Like you, you, you sit there, and I'm I'm sitting there like like where would they get this kid, and how the hell is he actually officially in a match, in a in a in a athletic commission, you know, <laughs> you know that's the check. state. You that's know? the check that that's, they were like. That was the big check. They're like, look, we don't even want the money. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just stop. Like, it's okay. It's okay. You guys can come back in four years again. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I sat here and I watched it at the studio here, and I, I I kept thinking, okay, they got the kid. So okay, they got the kid. Yeah, they got the kid. So Braun's starting to get beat down. I'm thinking, well, now his real partner's gonna come out, and it's like, <laughs> it's like, really like, oh yeah, I'm, uh, waiting, I'm waiting for um, the rest of it. Um, I'm waiting yeah. for the rest oh, wait of it. Are we done? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. He won. <laughs> yeah, wait. That no, that's the thing. Yeah, you know, we all and we got that earlier in the night with San, with Elias. Yes, with John Cena, which yes. Oh, uh, that John was Cena. incredible. Yes. John, the whole thing was masterfully done. Can I say something, mm-hmm. though? So fuck John Cena for ruining uh, Char- uh, Charlotte's moment. It was like that, it, that's like the, that was bullshit. That's like the that Kanye Taylor Swift of wrestling now. Like, Charlotte, yeah. I'm gonna let you celebrate, but I'm gonna run up this ramp in the middle <laughs> of your celebration real quick. Yeah. Like. What a f- what a fuck you! That is such a Vince. That is such a Pat Pat McMahon move right there. And by the way, best night of the match or best match of the night. You know and, what though? I, it I, was. It was. That's what I mean. Like it was mm. like this this awesome moment. Like like with Asuka and like she still looks strong and, res- and like being like a re- you know taking the loss so classy and John Cena has to run up the right there. I was really disappointed Carmelo didn't cash in and win that. At that moment, at that yeah, ma- we, we, that match, that's, that's what we yeah. kept we kept saying. Was I was happen. hoping that Oscar was going to win the belt, and then Carmelo was going to come in and beat her. Yeah, mm. pretty crazy. But see, John Cena running up the ramp like that, oh. which, which totally sucked. I agree with you. But if you like, as you, it, you as wish it, it was a different time. As it fast, as it played, right. as it played out, when John Cena gets squashed, now it's like everybody's thrilled because he ruined Charlotte's moment. Now he gets his ass kicked by the Undertaker in three minutes, and it's over with. Oh my god, so Taker looks like, fucking beautiful. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'm not just talking about those extensions. Like I'm talking about like, <laughs> healthy. He looks healthy. Yeah, he like last year I was like, oh my god, he's gonna die in the fucking yeah. ring. And this yeah. year he was just like, we, you know, he could have he could have looked like that if that match went on another five minutes. I don't though. think we he looked. He didn't look that good at Raw 25. No, he didn't. Right. Well, I think that, that was like right before his hip. He, okay. he had like a hip replacement or something like okay. that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Recently. So, um, it's one, amazing a guy that hit the same age as me looked that good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, to me, and this is going to oh, sound hey. weird because of the conversation we just had. Yeah. But what John Cena did for that match was was puts him at the top of the list of best ever. He put, he he made a squash match interesting because he's he's a he's it a was. decorated star. The Undertaker's a decorated star, and instead of putting on a five star match, making sure everybody get you know, make sure making sure he kicks out at two every time, he gets his ass kicked. It's like it's for like WrestleMania it's against like, the Undertaker. Yeah, it, it was really a a nineteen ninety two superstars match. <laughs> In front of seventy thousand people. And that's I, that. Honestly, that's what needed to happen. And mm-hmm. see, I had a problem with it because the Undertaker wouldn't put over the younger talent. <laughs> yeah, he's squashing younger talent. <laughs> that's that's gonna come next year when Nicholas kicks his ass. When, when Nicholas kicks his ass. <laughs> but it was fun. No, no, it, 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 was, it was fun, and and you know, they strung you along. Your reactions were great. Our boy Elias uh, got involved, of course. You know, just killing it. You that know? was that so was good. perfect. Yes, it was, was so good. Like you yeah. know, we were you know, it's like no, Elias is going to have a moment. I, it's not going to be a match, but he's going to have a moment, right? I was partly hoping he was going to interfere in the match. 
I was kind of hoping. A little like, bit. It, a, a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> yeah. Just, and then Undertaker takes him out, too. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, that's okay, you know. Yeah. But listen to the, when it, when the lights went out, listen to the crowd oh. was amazing. Then you hear the strum of the guitar. And it's like, just like completely tur- turned on everybody. I think that's the only time people weren't happy to see Elias yeah. initially. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, like, like in the last like six months, like everybody, you hear the strum and everybody's like, yeah, walk with Elias. Now it's just like, Fuck oh. you, you're not The Undertaker. <laughs> it's like when Rey Mysterio was supposed to be Daniel Bryan at the Royal Rumble here in Pittsburgh, yeah. and we're like, fuck you, you're not Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Sorry, Ray Ray. Yeah. We don't give a crap. Right. You know, it's eh, wrestling is weird is a weird beast. Anything else uh, uh worth bringing up for Mania? Uh, it, we didn't uh, can we stop with the uh computer graphics, please? <laughs> oh, the, you didn't like the strange 3D effect graphics that we saw at home? The unicorn? The only one that was better. Man, that was the unicorn that, was that New Day entrance. That, yeah, the only, the only one that I, was worth it I was don't the know. New Day entrance. I love the New Day. Like, yeah. those are my boys. But, like, I saw that, and I, I just, when I, when I saw little people in pancake <laughs> costumes. Were, who was it that, was it you that was, what were you calling them? Uh, short stack. Short stack. Short stack. <laughs> and by the way, I want, I want to point out. Leave. God damn it. Here at the studio, you guys had a pancakes and sausage party? Uh, pa- yes. No, pa- was it? What, what was, was it? it? Missy, uh... How the fuck do I get invited to that pancakes one? Pancakes and bangers. Pancakes, pancakes and, and bangers. bangers. Yes. For, yeah. And to which I got sent a video of somebody attending that uh, that that pulled pancakes out of his pants, <laughs> <laughs> and, and there were pancakes on the seat here for when I got back. Yeah, that was the same pancake. Everything that was the same pancake. Yes, oh, no, I'm glad I'm not the one I that had to remove that. It was the same pancake. No. <laughs> you know, hearing that you guys were throwing pancakes at each other, I'm amazed that the studio is as clean as it is when I came back. We kept it civil. You yeah. Kept, well, yeah, really. We civil. There, really. Yeah. Amongst that crew. Well, the thing was, there was no alcohol involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there was no um, booping of the internet. No booping. Yeah, no, hey, no booping. Hey, I was good. I did not drink on my. You trip. don't know that. The, yeah. Oh, on that trip. Okay. Am I'm I back? Sure Am I back? That's true. <laughs> there you go. Um, there's all. There's always a greatest Royal Rumble though to to, to have one of those booping parties. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, no, no, no. starting at eleven. For, for, uh, starting hey, at eleven in the morning God, for a pay per view is... that's being hosted in a country that doesn't have alcohol. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great idea. Hey right, yes. guys, let's day drink uh, in front of this window. I'm, try- uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to mail mail beach balls to Saudi Arabia. Has anybody got any ideas? Oh, God, that was the other time I got drunk in a foreign country. Was uh, was with Chess Flex War too? Huh. Yes. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I was my fault. I accidentally ordered uh, a bucket of beer because I didn't know what I was asking. They were, I didn't know what they asked me. And you just smiled and nodded. Yes. And all I yeah. had to show for it is this uh, Thai bot that's owed to Mad Mike. Oh, shoot. I yeah, I forgot about that, too. Um, I, we are going along on the first half, guys. It's been a great conversation oh, so far. Here, hold on. Wait, what is happening? What is... Oh, he's... Are you you, do, look, you do look really... Affi- you're playing hangman. Is, is he right on a post-it note? Yes. Oh, God. But he's going through the process. He's putting it on the 20-sided die. He's wrapping it around. It's, it's crumbling. And he's going it's to throw it at not, me. Oh, it's not going to stick. Okay. <sighs> the message didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I got to talk to our intern about staples or something. Or tape. All right. And and maybe, uh, maybe that's why we don't have All right. Answer. Wrap it up. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. I don't know what's happened. I don't either. But it was funny apparently. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh I, yeah. Yes. I I meant to make that pun. Oh, I fucking hate puns. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody you need to meet that also doesn't like puns. Hey guys, looking for some great advertising <laughs> options that won't break the bank. Advertise with us. You like us, and maybe the people you need to talk to like us too. And uh, you can use us as a platform here. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun uh, with a lot of people like our friends at Slice and uh, Alex Cars and everything. Uh, for uh, details on our plans, please contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. And Missy will answer that email when she's done with her strike. Uh, so with that, we got uh, Honey Badger here in studio. We'll be back with more, including the return of the big question. Woo! After this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. And well, have, you, have you seen Drew Gulak's uh, new finish? I have not seen it, Larry. It's like, it's what like, is it? It's like uh, yeah. a dragon sleeper 
Only he like wraps his legs around their waist too. Oh, he's, doing he's going back to the grappler it's thing. Mean, it's like mean that, looking. He was a super crazy grappler the first time I saw him at National Pro Wrestling Day. Yeah. National Suspicious. Pro Wrestling Day? Thank you, Rez. Um, we are back. It is a Wrestling Mayhem show, and it's almost time for the big question. We got the crew here, of course. Honey Badger is joining us. No, no. Yes, Honey Badger. Yeah, Honey I'm Bear here. is the team. Honey Badger is you. I'm sorry. My brain broke, and I forgot which was more okay. than one person. <laughs> We do kind of fuse at one point, you know, during our matches. And just you do become... like a Super Saiyan fuse thing? Good. Is that that Dragon Ball Z thing? Yes, yeah, Dragon Ball oh, Z okay. thing. It's like the thing like Cesaro and Sheamus do. And they go on. Boop. Oh, is that what that Fugitive? is? Yeah. yeah. They, you know, they know it kind of looks like a weird NWO thing with style. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, that's that's a Sorry. different conversation. That's a different conversation entirely. Also, of course, Patreon or extraordinaire in the in the pizza club is uh, is a uh, uh, Billy. Hi, Sorgs. Hey, I, I love we we framed you in with uh, your 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 good friend Emma. That's over right. There. <laughs> My good friend Emma. We didn't get the double J in the shot either. Oh wait 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 wait. We have it. Oh, there you go. You got the, yep. you got Honky and Double J in the in the Honey Badger shot yes. over there. Well, she's so. deserving of two people. I'm only deserving of one. There you go. One, you so. got you got the country music representation. Yes. Going on over there. C- congratulations. <laughs> or I'm sorry. She, she, <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> she's the Pittsburgh v- v- version of hardcore country. I don't even know what that translates into. Well, Mickey, if Mickey James is a southern version, yes, then Honey Badger could be the Pittsburgh version. No, I think no. there's something else entirely in Pittsburgh. Anyways, Larry is here uh, where up? he's uh, <laughs> checking all the stats and he has a rest of what's going on on 205 Live with his officially official monk. Have you read that entire wrestler's book yet? Uh, not yet. This is now is, my official au- autograph book. Oh, there's some more. Oh, so oh, the, did I just ruin it? Okay. So we, we have... Uh, <laughs> Cassius Ono. Okay. And Will Ospreay. Okay. Are you going to read us, Phoenix. everybody, in that book? I think there's yeah, like so we're going to turn We're going to turn this into the Mayhem Show autograph book. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's actually it's actually a really good reason. That's a good idea. The poor person oh, it, is going to decide really that is. I need to get all those people autographs now that half those people are in the book. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, right. It's going to be hard. It's, yeah, they, they were very fortunate. I know they see a lot. What was it? AAW is represented in that book Su- and everything. Suzuki's in it. Wow, Suzuki's it looks like it. somebody um, took a bite out of his Polaroid. What's that? He's like missing half his forehead. It's like somebody bit. It's like somebody bit the Polaroid. Um, if you want to go pick up the wrestlers' um, uh, portrait book, uh, you can go to the wrestlers' book. Dot dot and you can pick up your copy. A very successful, but exceedingly, I think he got like something like five hundred percent what he needed to put the book out. And that's why he had some extra stuff uh, going out, like uh, some some Polaroid stickers and um, the sweet pin, sweet portrait wrestler pin thing. I don't even know if you can see that on the video for you guys out there on that. Yeah, I spent about a half hour before the show looking at it. It's it's, it's good. Well worth getting. It's awesome. well worth getting. It's it's awesome. Um, but anyways, it is time for so Mayhem Media season is gone. It's, over. it's the it's the Mayhem after <laughs> Mayhem Mania. I'm sorry, guys. I know. It's not going to be a clusterfuck for the rest of the show. An yeah. organized, a, a slightly organized clusterfuck. Um, I mean, I mean that in a good way. Or... I do mean that in a good way, in a way that I look pr- uh, forward to every year. Um, but uh, <laughs> but no, it is time for the big question. Keep drumming, because I didn't queue up the big question. So actually, this comes from Chachi's wife. What? Mrs. Chachi's wife. Miss? No, no. That that <laughs> then that be Mrs. Chachi's. That they would be in like a really interesting relationship if we map that out appropriately. And we're not going to do that. That's for a different kind of podcast. Um, maybe a that's different. The, that's the up all night. Podcast, that's the up. That's the mayhem up all night version. <laughs> As we educate the Larry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is this thing? All right, he says. So last night, uh, this is from Chachi. He posted this, and we, we got we got this in there for everybody else. So last night, while watching the first half of WrestleMania, his wife comes to see uh, how it is not being a wrestling fan. She proceeded to ask a, a question that, after the past few years, I couldn't answer. What makes WrestleMania different from any other pay per view that WWE puts on? 
Now, anyway, I have some answers, uh, and please, in the chat room, uh, a- answer this as well. I have some stuff from the, um, the group where we were talking about this. So what is it, maybe to you or generally, that makes WrestleMania so special? Biggest night of the year. Biggest night of the year. Because, and then, and then the next question is why? Uh, because of the history that WrestleMania has. Mm-hmm. Like before, before the WWE Network came along, people went to other people's play houses to watch WrestleMania. Somebody paid for for the WrestleMania, and everybody and their mother came over there, even if though even though they didn't like wrestling. Mm-hmm. They watched wrestling. I mean, I, I know when I was younger, I used to go to my friend's house, and I believe it was just me and him who really liked wrestling, and then three other people who knew wrestling was a thing, and were just there to watch it and maybe bet on who won. Uh, but now with the, the now now with uh, the man uh, the man show now with the I- uh, WWE Network. Uh, it does seem like it's watered down a little bit, but it's still the history. It's still WrestleMania. It's still at the biggest venues that WWE can find and book. And it's still going to be the biggest draw. Or venues that people want them to come to. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, now there's weekends, like we were talking about. There were weekends that people are drawn to other companies are drawn to that one spot because that's where everybody is. So yeah, it is really big. It's still a really big deal for wrestling fans. That's it. I, I equate it to like the Super Bowl because it, it's turned into basically a week long event where anybody that loves the sport of pro wrestling goes and even if you don't love it, but you know people that do, you go with them. And it, they probably pick up more fans by having the week-long events that, like, for example, like if I take a couple of my friends that aren't wrestling fans, by the end of that weekend, they're going to be wrestling fans. Because but I think wrestling fans are, are so much different than any other sport, even like oh, entertainment. But I've, I, I've known people that have never watched wrestling at all, and they've watched a WrestleMania show with me, and they were like, this is amazing. And I try to explain them. It's not like this every week, but, you know, for one week a year, it's all wrestling, you know. And now, like you said, like Riz said, there's so many shows going on. There's, you know, they, they got the access. And then a lot of the indie shows, they want to run down in the same city that, the, that WrestleMania is at. So then you get so many more thousands of people going to these shows and they have to they decide on which shows are going to go to. WrestleMania itself is the best of the best. Just like the Super Bowl is, it's it's a it's a it's a long day, no, no matter how you look at it, it's a long day. But you, it's still the best of the best, and you make so many friendships through it. That I mean, that's that's something you can't you you don't get to get you don't get when you go to other like other sporting events. I think that's the thing. We, I, I always start to sh- uh, I started the show lately with uh, you know how many Tuesdays of wrestling celebration we have, right? Yes. And it really is, you know, having been to one and realizing how much bigger it's gotten even since I was at twenty nine. For that whole weekend experience, you know the event itself, everything around it. It's like um, I'm a big fan, as some know, as going to the gathering of the juggalos and yes. conferences and and things like that. And I just love the going to a place where everybody is on the same vibe. Right, you go there and everybody's on the wrestling vibe. It's a place where you can wear your t-shirt and not be the weird one. The place where you can make a wrestling joke and couple people actually laugh at it, right? Yeah. Versus you're the weird one in the office that likes wrestling. I literally had somebody on Sunday night be, be like, what? You're into wrestling? I never would have pegged you for that. And I've known this guy for like three years. He worked with him sparingly as a client, right? And uh, and it's just like, you know, we're still, you know. I, I get that. It's almost- a bigger thing, but it's still a very like, it's our big crazy geek thing, right? I, I get that almost every day. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a wrestling fan because like on my if you anybody looks on my Facebook, you'll see so many pictures of me at wrestling shows or with you know wrestlers or you know I've been going to indie shows for seven and a half years. I've been a wrestling fan watching wrestling for forty six years now. My dad just dropped me off to Cleveland Convention Center to watch matches like Ric Flair, um, Ronnie Garvin, Jake the Snake, 
Tommy Rich. I mean, just I was eight years old. My dad would drop me off just because I wanted to go. I mean, it was just it was just seeing it and to see it grow into something. Oh, it's unbelievable! On the regular, seventy thousand people every year is just insane. Um, What are you, Larry? I think the matches are better. Oh, oh, why I turned you down? There you go. No, that's me. Go ahead. I think the matches are better. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not it's not like normal Mondays or Tuesdays or even pay per views where there's just a lot of filler and like throwaway shit with the exception of the main event um everybody's everybody's going balls to the wall on yeah, yeah you know everybody wants to steal the show yeah. everybody wants to like have a big moment mm-hmm. something memorable so Absolutely. it's it, it's usually it's usually the night that most people um should want to watch you know just because you're gonna see something cool out of it well you're badger i think it's the production I think it's the total, just everything. I mean, that stage alone and um, like I fireworks, uh, uh, the outfits are always like taken up a notch. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I, I had a a very dear friend of mine. It was actually her first WrestleMania. She like watched it growing up. Um, Mm -hmm. She's actually my seamstress and um, she could not like wrap her head around someone who like watches the Oscars, the Grammys. I mean, she's, she's, you know, she does dance costume. I mean, she's, she's made stuff for people, um, like on Broadway, like, you know, prima ballerinas. I mean, she's done amazing things. So for her to sit there and be like blown away by the production, it was like, okay, like this is the, there was somebody that, that tweet, I think I retweeted about it. Like they, there should be some sort of Emmy for what they pull off there. On WrestleMania weekend for that production. That's what we were talking about for like the first a better part of the show is like who makes that? Like it has to be some like my husband was saying, it has to be some top um like Las Vegas it's sign company. Never won one too, you know? Yeah, or yeah, any kind of recognition. Like that's yeah. a good you know? point. Is like, it really like, a live production Emmy or there something is, like yeah, that? Yeah, because like there? the yeah. Academy Awards win it wins it like every year. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, and just I mean, so it's like if if that shitty show could do it, <laughs> right, there's yeah. no reason. Well, yeah, take that know. Academy Awards. There, there's no reason yeah. why why something like WrestleMania would yeah be Academy on Awards that, or Grammys know? or something like that wins it. Yeah, yeah. I want to credit Marcus Mann on that comment. He says, "If you understand tech theater, it's a crime, a legit crime." He says, he uses all caps. Uh, that WrestleMania isn't nominated an enemy a- Emmy. Every year for the production, it's probably the most complicated live production ever. And again, there's so much, so much going on. It, it, it's such a large venue, cameras everywhere, um, so many moving parts. That's and seamless. Set. And, and yeah, you don't that's, see any flubs on no. something like that. You know, I mean, they've probably been working at it for several days and, week, the, and like all a, the a week. Yeah, like all week. they built they built it early in the week. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, especially um, like this year it was seven hours long. There's already a prototype for the set for next year. Oh, in no, no question. Yeah, you know that, right? Like, yeah. they, 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 it has I'm to sure. be. Like, it, this is a year. There, there was some place where they were talking about uh, the sets as one of the twenty four sevens, I think, and they were just like, "Yeah, no, this." We're, we're, they got their hands full to top the last time they were in New York, though. That set was pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, and, and especially something like that when they're in a, they, in a place where it doesn't have a roof that they need to they need to build a structure yes. like that in Last the middle of a stadium. Nuts. Yes. Yeah. It was. They yeah. put they put a ring on top of the ring. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then had a roller coaster. You mean, meanwhile, they could have just had everybody wrestle on top of the big show, as we learned last week. Yeah, right. Um, you have to listen to last week, though. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, absolutely. It, it's just, it's just the biggest thing. It like seems. the entrances, and I mean, it's just, yeah. it's everything. Like everything, like go, everyone goes all out. Everybody wants to be there, and again, like you know, we we had um, Shinsuke and AJ, which we didn't really talk too much about. I would think about it um, again. Shinsuke's be... entrance. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I... It, it it it's big it's it, it's the big time it's the thing that um you know these are guys that were in front of forty thousand in the Tokyo Dome was is that the right yeah. number 50, yeah that's about right I think forty I think they yeah, do I think it was you know that that's that's big yes but that's still not WrestleMania no right seventy eight thousand last night seventy eight thousand last night we had like a hundred thousand sixty seven countries sixty seven yeah. countries represented I mean it still had that feel to it though yeah what the uh Wrestle Kingdom Oh yeah, it does. Oh, it, it is, but it's its own version of it. It's that just deal. a smaller scale. It's like it it's like what WrestleMania this, was this, in the early nineties. To say right. that forty thousand people was a smaller scale kind of shows you the importance of WrestleMania, yeah. yes. right? 
Um, mm-hmm. And there's just so much production going into that. Um, I want to go through the chat room real quick. Alex Miller says the entrance and the surprises. Um, Bobby, I think, responded to what we were saying. Uh, it's the San Diego Comic-Con for the wrestle fa- wrestling fans. Uh, JD says he has two reasons for Mania. It's held in stadiums instead of, instead of arenas, and somebody sings America the Beautiful. All right. Yep. Um, but uh, let's see. This is this is, Dave's talking about some of us who went to Civic Arena for closed circuit WrestleMania three. Who remembers WrestleMania one that had issues? Somebody posted the Vince McMahon presenting the WrestleMania replay on Channel four here in town because that closed circuit failed <laughs> at Civic Arena. So they showed it for free on local television once. Wow. It's the now, was only it one place. or was it two? It was one. I could have sworn it was two for some reason. Um, I, mean, I told it was one. Two is the one oh, yeah. that was in a couple different. It's in a locations. couple different places, but it, it was it was the first one. Uh, so yeah, uh, and also there, there's there's several people that of course uh, commented on the chat as well. Um, uh, Dan Hooven says Flow Rider songs. Um, That's true. Matthew uh, Matthew Taylor says it's it's eleven eleven t hours long. <laughs> we we didn't even talk about the lack of Kid Rock and how awesome it was. Yay. Yeah, he's just in our. Fuck that guy. He's just in our soul. I actually didn't mind his speech. He wasn't even on the. But I mean, during WrestleMania. Yeah, he didn't even I show up. He was fully dressed up like Macaulay Culkin for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> that mustache is weirding me out, though. It's like, dude, make a decision. Um, uh, he, uh, the Kyle Turner is saying that the build spans over months. It's uh, almost always the end of major feuds. It's one of the. Uh, it, it, it's it's one time of the year that the unexpected is the norm. This year was a prime example. Not everyone will like it. We know that from Twitter, but they can't say they knew everything that was going to happen. Um, Blake says the ceremony and the fact that they promoted all year to make you, us the customer, feel uh, as though it uh, it is important to mean something. I mean, they do that with other ones, but this is promoted differently. He uses phrases like "great stage of the mall" or "big big dance." The whole thing has a different vibe and feel than regular pay per view events. Although it is going to be interesting to see. They have announced um, Royal Rumble will be in um, a ball field at Ooh. in Phoenix. That's gonna be it's cool. indoors. It's, it's indoors. indoors. It's an indoor ball. It's an indoor field. ball field. Oh, it's gonna be at the because yeah, it's, it's, it's Phoenix. It's, 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 it's Phoenix. There, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be where the Phoenix <laughs> the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals. So play. it's a Cardinals, the Cardinals Stadium. So, yes. So now you're seeing yep. that. You know, Barclays is a bigger deal. Right. I can see them. Um, I Did think. Did you just call it the feet? What? The, the, fo- uh, the football field. Okay. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. No. Ar- Arizona Cardinals. No, it's where the Diamondbacks play. Diamondbacks. Oh, really? They're, They're playing baseball. the baseball yeah, no, yeah. It's a baseball Because it's, 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 oh, it's got a roof on it. Sports. Yeah. Okay. Well, the football stadium does too. That's why I thought they were having it at the football stadium. No. No. Okay. No. Wow. No. Me with that's where they had sword. WrestleMania, right? That's yeah. That's where they had a they had yeah. WrestleMania. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, right. it's you know not quite as big. So now you're getting this thing where. The other events are becoming mini WrestleManias and have that weekend effect. Yes. Right? Um, so now, you know, hey, I can't make the WrestleMania. Well, this one's kind of more than my end of the state. Right. You know, you can get that kind of mini WrestleMania experience. Well, you basically got the big three, right? You got Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and SummerSlam, and right? Survivor, Survivor Series, series is... they've been doing a bit yeah. around too, mm-hmm. right? So it's it's been it's been kind of ramping up. Yeah. And it, like, and... It, you know, the more they can expand something like that and create these experiences and get more people involved right. and fill bigger stadiums, that's always it's always a plus, right? Oh, for sure. And, and, then, and one of and the then, cool things mm-hmm. uh, with with the Arizona Stadium, the the, the the Diamondbacks ball field, is I hope they do uh, play on this a little bit. Is the fact that in the outfield there is a giant pullback? I there. was hoping you're going to say that. Yeah. Yes. So I, I hope that's incorporated somewhere in WrestleMania and then at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Like the uh, right field pool, I just hope it's, yeah. it's at least a VIP section. That would be amazing. Absolutely. Or used in a match. Yes. Um, so I, I wanted to get back around. And let us know uh, on Twitter the big question, you know, why why is WrestleMania the biggest one that's so important for you guys? Um and also, Potter says, for the last few years, it's been the only place for Taker. That's true too. So, and we, it'd be, I guess, I guess we're going to see more of that. I don't think we see, we don't see Taker mm. outside of Mania. I, I doubt it. No. Let's roll Th- him out. There's not really anything left for him to do. 
No, it, mm. not at this point. You know, I, and I, I think you saw last night, like, you know, it's okay that we don't have like a five star match out of them, right? Yeah. I, like, I don't. Let's not do that to the guy. We, we got like... we we got what we want, what we needed out of them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, and, and especially for the fans, because there's so many fans, and you know that that hate Cena, and they they, well, they, they care about his they entrance got the... more than his matches. Now, right, anyway. exactly. Yes. He's the entrance. They, they got they, you know they got to see Cena get squashed, and yeah. everybody was happy about it. They got to see Taker and got Cena squashed, and everybody could have went home happy right after Sometimes that. Sometimes the spectacle is enough, right? Yes. So. Um, we wanted to go roll back to, we, we talked a little bit about the, uh, mixed tag match and I know there's a lot of discussion online and I think you were a part of that as well, um, about that being, becoming intergender and WWE kind of maybe accepting intergender. Of course we had the mixed tag match or mixed match challenge, which was a lot of fun for being, uh, mixed tag team matches, mm-hmm. which means in definition for those that don't know, mixed tags are, um, the other gender tags. Both are in. There's no inter mingling. Yeah, it has to be right? girl, girl, <laughs> girl, guy, guy, girl, girl, guy, guy uh, for that. Whereas intergender is anybody can go. You, of course, you're in an intergender tag team as Honey Bear, <laughs> which is still the best ever. Um, and so, yeah, when you're involved in something like this, of course, you have some some thoughts on this. Um, yeah, when I saw Rhonda um, revving up on triple h i was like this is this is it this is gonna this is how they're gonna segue into mm-hmm. possibly i mean probably not knowing them it was probably just a, a hype thing to get everybody behind Rhonda. you know what i mean mm-hmm. um but at the same time when i saw her you know taking jabs and, and i mean they gave her a good bit of time it wasn't like it wasn't like a slap it wasn't like a cheap you know uh, manager type thing. It was mm. like she went like she th- was throwing punches at him, and she ha- almost had him in a goddamn armbar. So I think it would be a really cool way to start segment, especially like the way that um like women women in wrestling like they're just they're finally getting like recognition and respect. So I think the only way you can take keep taking it. I mean they've been doing things like the first women's you know cage match and Iron Man matches. So you know, knowing them, I mean, they're not stupid, you know, they're a business. They're like, well, we got to keep topping ourselves. Mm -hmm. So the next thing would be, you know, putting the intercontinental championship on Asuka or putting it on, which is something we did with, with China back in the day, but but China was, a she was the intercontinental champion. And I think it is that physical stature for the most part Mm -hmm. for them. Right. Like we, we see a little more on the Indies. Like there's a lot of kind of different sizes wrestling each other Mm -hmm. all across the board. And, Hi Riz. Hi Riz. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> weird noises with Riz today. Um, <laughs> there are weird noises today. Sorry. Like like you could buy China uh, having a competitive match with uh, Jericho and Jeff Jarrett, right? It, it well, made like back sense. in the day, like those guys were so like they were actually kind of tiny. Yeah, exactly. That she just mm-hmm. towered over them. Which, you it, know but what it mean? was cool to see. Like I don't think you'll typically see. Ronda Rousey, you know, while a badass, still a smaller stature against six foot four, typical WWE looking Triple H. Like, I, like, I feel like, I mean, the, he's like 300 pounds. I yeah, think. exactly. Uh, like yeah. that's, 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 that's crazy. And I know like some matches I've seen on the Indies where it's like two, six foot five guys, you know, and two regular size girls got weird. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and I think like, I think if you like, do I mean, that that's with the, the thing. It does have to be in that. Yeah, like, like like the cruiserweights, right? Like Cedric Alexander and Candice LeRae have had amazing matches that I've seen. You know, things that's, like that. It's going to be that's very one of the ones, except. After after TakeOver was over, um, there was a, going back to what we talked about in the beginning, uh, there was a conversation between two people going, what if to um, continue on this storyline that Candice LeRae and Tommaso Ciampa get together and fight and have mm-hmm. that, have that mixture go and have that be the, the uh, portion of the intergender coming into the WWE mm-hmm. network. It could be interesting. And yeah. They have the right people. But even to like pull Charlotte. Off. I mean, Charlotte's yeah. honestly big enough and athletic mm-hmm. enough that I would totally believe her in a match with, um, like even like Seth Rollins or like I'm trying to think like who would it would make sense. I mean Balor. In a world where we had AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar, 
<laughs> and I know that match went a certain way, and and I thought mm-hmm. it, it did it did good for what it was. Um, you know, it's not like we can't have small versus big in this in these could, cases. Could 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 this be? I mean, like since it's been really, it's really been a while since we've had. A, a woman against a man in a match. Yeah, China. Could, uh, could we had Beth Ellsworth Phoenix. and uh, back in, well, well, back in lunch. Well, like there I like, like I said, yes. like I said, could could it part could part of it could part of it be because like the um the physical abuse that we've seen like over the last ten years where a, a guy is beating a girl mm-hmm. and they're trying to stay away, even though we 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 know it, it we, we know it is what it is. Yeah, but still on TV to have a guy hitting a girl. It has to be presented. throwing a girl around. I it, mean, it has but there's to be a right, pre- there's a wrong and a, a right. Oh, I way agree. To do yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, there's a way to empower a woman and show that yeah. she's. I mean, strong. I've seen a match that was pre- is Indies. I've seen a match that was presented as a domestic abuse angle. Oh no, I have too. You know, I mean, I mean, in, in I, versus, I, I, but then I've seen like. Like like Darcy Dixon manhandle one of those six foot five guys for. Well, a I agree, but but the, we're looking, you know, we're looking at two people recently yeah. that had the abuse, where mm-hmm. male on female. I mean, yeah, you know, could could that be part of the reason we really haven't seen a whole lot of it? It's perception, it's sponsors. So mm-hmm. I don't think. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, don't you have to look far for a horrible, horrible match like that. Vince McMahon versus uh, Stephanie McMahon at No, Mer- no Mercy. Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. But it, it, but that was written horribly. Yeah, they right, can't. They, they, like everybody right. said, they can write it in a way that can work. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I mean, I'm like I'm like some of you. I've seen some amazing. Men on women matches on the Indies. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can mm-hmm. you bring Candice LeRae? I've seen her in AIW with with guys. I mean, she just like was fantastic. Maria Manic hangs with. I mean, mm-hmm. she get. I mean, some mm-hmm. of the matches she's been doing lately, mm-hmm. uh, it's just like, and, and she brings it, and she does not fall back, and nothing like that. So, I, I mean, it's it's a thing. Like it's, and I, I especially think, like I said, with um, just the the the. I mean, the future is female, and I think it's going to touch into all aspects of entertainment sooner than later. And I just, I think it's going to happen. I think it's, again, it's going to be how can we keep topping ourselves, and where else can you go? You know, now they're they're doing the thing, you know, like they're bringing in the, um, I just saw they were advertising it, the UK... King, uh, King of the Ring. King of the Ring, UK. So they're definitely doing like all the right things with like mm-hmm. inclusion, like Balor's thing last night. Like that was amazing as far yeah. as like inclusion. That is one thing I, I, I'm going to be interested to see if they do touch on in wrestling over the next um, is to include like the L- LGBTQ community more. Well, I think in, in Velvet Teen Dreams, I think a, a step towards that. It is, but yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm taught, I mean, I'm, I'm always like go big, ba- you know, it yeah, has, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like don't tiptoe on it. Like, yeah support it you know what i mean if we can i mean if we can change the ropes for susan susan g komen mm-hmm. which i won't get into but you know what i mean like oh, we I'd love can... to have a rainbow rope rope month that'd be great i'd pop for that yeah i'd throw and, more money at that and than... definitely during hell in the cell because yes. uh, you know hell in the cell is about that pink yeah. rope every <laughs> where's hell in the cell we have a pink rope you know sometimes <laughs> or... it's like guys we need to kind of think about our sponsorship <laughs> or extreme rules you know extreme rules <laughs> what's stream Ro- extreme rules month is it's... that is that when we do it? Is that when we have rainbow yeah, ropes? We have, oh. we have we have because it's in Pittsburgh this year. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey yeah, it'll be oh, the perfect place right. to do it too. Yes, yeah, yes. absolutely. So we're we're pulling for that. Uh, <laughs> um, Vince, are you listening? Vince, we know you're out there listening. You might know what a podcast is. You you, you got you got Bruce Pritchard back to do one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe when I saw that. I'm just like, is this? I, it, I thought it was a misprint when I when I read I it. I did too. It's like Bruce is back with his podcast. I'm waiting for them to do a women's tag team division. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Oh, that would be I think good. that's the next step. I mean, that, that would be actually. Like, they, they have enough talent now for it, and it's not like something that needs to air like every week. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that would like, be. That can be like an alternate thing, like they do on NXT. I think intergender. I think realistically, what happens intergender will start on the network, <laughs> whether on NXT or its own thing. Right? I could see it on NXT. Like it's yeah. it's I, I think I think the problem is yeah, it happened at Mania. But I don't think you're gonna see it on a regular basis on Monday night. Again, sponsors. 
perceptions. Right. I, like I, that, and I totally, right? I totally get that. Yeah. Um, and they are, they are, they will be cautious with that. I think that's, that is the biggest hold. But it, as it, as the groundswell builds, Lucha Underground, as people have been bring, bringing up, um, they're testing the waters with uh, a mix match challenge, of course, a little bit. Sorry, there's, there's just some <laughs> dance messages from the back. I, so, um, it's like you a know. carnival game back there, which Sasha going back and forth. Like, What's that? <laughs> exactly. Exec producer Larry, show the camera up there. He just, he just executive producer. Instead of a nameplate, he's got a name mug with got the poster. I got my there. own coffee. Oh, I broke my mic. Oh, <laughs> I got my own coffee mug. You got your own coffee mug. There you go. It just, I just saw it play back on the feed uh, on the delay, and it just looks like Sasha's <laughs> walking behind you when I get to you. It's just like well, how, it's like well, going back and moving? forth, like a. <laughs> Sasha wants to walk with Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't tell daughters. Uh, anyways, <laughs> she, she oh, will, she will we're trying to make out. very important points about intergender wrestling here, guys. Well, we are intergender. And then Sasha and Larry. Yeah, that's right. We got Sasha and Larry hanging out. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the intergender production team of this show. <laughs> that, that, went, that went downhill fast. I'm trying what to get to happening Lucha, right now? So Lucha Underground is a thing that does this, by the way, guys. <laughs> they have wrestling. They have wrestling and they have intergender and, and well, uh, Rise is really and Rise local. Is is, yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the big things. Is they weren't they weren't stupid and they see you know Lucha Underground is gaining you know just mm-hmm. the way they produce their shows and I mean that's uh, one of the main reasons. I mean, other than you know that I mean that's my trainer and I mean that's really mm-hmm. my family. But um, you know, Rise is not afraid to you know I said for a long time because I <laughs> I couldn't get booked for a while there and I was like just put me against dudes. Yeah, like I'll yeah, because there's there's a there's a lacking of good women wrestlers to go against. Like the the pool is smaller here for that, right? Yeah, but I think, but there is so much good talent though right now. There is that like you have to utilize it one way or right. another. Whether right. it's mixed tags, whether it's intergender, do you know what I mean? There's like there's so much good female talent like upcoming. Like I can't even tell you like how happy that makes me that there's so much like it's mm. just cause for a while there it really felt i mean like a ghost it, town as far as when it came to like it, it, it was for a while i was like oh it's the women's match how's this gonna go you know right. we've had that conversation with some of the promotions they'd be like oh, they, this, this I, isn't this was, isn't good i was just gonna say i've been like i won't mention any names but i've been to several promotions <laughs> and you mentioned a women's match mm-hmm. they cringe because they don't, they they don't understand how much talent is out there in right. the women's division, right? Or there's been too many that weren't great yes. that they've had, maybe. And, oh, I think yeah. I think there was there's been enough matches that weren't very good, yeah, with some talent that weren't trained very well, yeah, or trained long enough, yeah, and it's it kind of soured some promoters on it. Mm-hmm. Now that's. Not, but that's not, what I mean. That is not, not the not, case. Not, now. not yeah. saying it. Not saying it because she's sitting next to me. But this is one person. This is one lady here that can go. I mean, I <laughs> I, I, I would put her against almost any dude, mm. and I'd still take her. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm, and I'm not saying it because you're but sitting here. But no. But that's what I mean. Like right now, I mean, there's just there's so much good talent already already established. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. But there's so much upcoming. Like like I said in one of my posts, this is across all um, boards. What are you doing? I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> Talk to the scrub back there. The scrub. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm, all wow. right. I need a sign. I need a, guess, I need a, guess who's not I coming need back to the studio, <laughs> even though he, yes. the girth cave is downstairs. Yes. <laughs> uh, go back to your girth cave. You better hope it's dried out from last week. <laughs> it, they did. They had the plumber down there. They did. They did. There was a flood in the girth cave. That's just legit, actually. <laughs> but anyways. Was there? I'm, I'm sorry. Was there more to your point that we're? <laughs> it there was, but it was lost. But no, Missy just basically like it. I think I think it's going to be very interesting within the next um, couple of years on the indie scene. I mean, going back to like WDB, they're not stupid. Like mm. indie wrestling and small venues and everything. Like Ring of Honor's coming up, and NXT is always sold out. I I have not even been able to get to an NXT show that's been in Pittsburgh because literally I can't get a ticket. They sell out so fast. Mm. So I I think we're gonna see. Uh, it's going to be very interesting over the next year, like you said, as Definitely. far as them scooping. I mean, they're scooping up the indies. Like, they're not stupid. I mean, yeah. the Performance Center is now almost like 
you know, before it was kind of like, cool, like, oh, this one person who you've seen got picked up by the performance center. Now it's like half of the photos are people almost everyone knows. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or half the, half the people we know. It's, well, yeah, it's that's what like, I mean. Like, hey, I remember that know. guy. It's just like, it, 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 like I, I mean, look at War Machine, you know, Crazy Mary yeah. Dobson just came up. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, there's, there's dozens more. I just like can't think of it at the moment. But um, Heidi Lovelace, it, or uh, uh, what's, her, what's her name? It's, Ruby right. Riot. It, it, it's crazy. It, it, the surreal moment I had was when um, I was listening to Corey Graves telling stories to Edge and Christian podcast that they told on this podcast <laughs> i'm just like what <laughs> wait this sounds familiar right. you know but, but that's, that's I mean. awesome that's awesome he's doing great and 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 you know guys like that and elias and uh uh ray Rowe and all, all those guys it's awesome it's awesome yeah i mean i know they have the performance center but i'm almost interested to see i was having this conversation with somebody i'm almost interested to see wwe picking up something almost like rise r-i-s-e mm-hmm. or like um Shimmer, the, shimmer, or? shimmer, just something like that, yeah. where it's almost like they're touring developmental yeah. thing, and it's always, you know, what I mean, then they're getting everybody on every level from, you know, and the, the super what... new people all the way up. Like, okay, we saw you two years ago at our first seminar, and now yeah. you're in the performance center, and now, so they're going to have more control over their talent and have more quality talent. And I, I think, think that's what that May Young Classic was that. Tony right? Waterfall, yeah, the right? May. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, that's the perfect example. Which yeah, is coming May, back. It is so. coming back. So, I mean, that's that's what I mean. Is And not even just with women wrestling. I mean, even just... By the way, Missy agrees back there. Thank you, Missy. I, was hoping, I didn't know if we could see it over... She's on strike. She's... she's yes. I'm about to Anyways. grab that kendo stick and make a sign just so I can go back there and pick it with her. <laughs> yeah, reach it. There you go. <laughs> kendo, kendo picket signs. That would be amazing. Uh, anyways... Hey, I want to give us some uh, uh, thanks. This has been an awesome conversation. Honey Badger with us uh, today. Uh, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friend, OccupyProWrestling.com, supporting the show. Uh, pro Wrest- you know, Pro Wrestling is a wild and crazy art firm. Art for- art firm? Art for our firm. Art firm. Art firm. firm. Guys, chat likes a bitch. Uh, and Occupy Pro Wrestling at Power2, the smarts on the Twitter, is here to look at uh, what makes it fun, featuring articles, blogs, and podcasts. And that brings you interviews with fellow fans. Occupy Pro Wrestling is uh, putting the smart back in smart work. Please check them out at OccupyProWrestling.com. They support us. They, uh, they they share a lot of the shows that we have and, and, and help uh, get the word out there for it. So we want to make sure to do They've been a lot, doing a lot of uh, fun things with live blogs for the pay-per-views, um, which I, I understand is growing a, a good bit over there for them. Uh, so they're investing in that bit. So um, when a pay-per-view is going down uh, and Twitter is being too Twittery for you, uh, you can hop over to the live blog and uh, catch up with what's going on with them over at OccupyProWrestling.com. Thank you, them. To them for supporting the show. And uh, so now is the time to find out what you learned from wrestling this week. And this goes to you guys, too, in the chat room. We'll get to that, too. But what, there's so much that happened. We got to we touched on a lot of things that I think we learned. <laughs> oh, wrestling life in ourselves. Um, but what, though, what was the big thing? What did you guys learn in wrestling this week? Who would like to go first? I got two. You got two? Can I, can I go two? Yeah, that's fine. One's very quick. <laughs> that's fine. I, I learned that a 10-year-old kid from this audience can get more of a pop than Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm. And my second one is that I, and it, it took me a while to come up with this one, but I learned that Triple H and Stephanie both spit and not swallow. The fuck? The water. The water. Oh! Shits. Oh! They spit, they don't oh. swallow. Oh. I love where, how she was playing mini-me Triple H during the entrance. <laughs> You know, it was, yeah. Sorry, Badger. <laughs> you know what you were getting into here. Yeah, so did you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is true, too. What did you learn in wrestling this week? Um, I learned. I had it and it went away. Come back. Come okay, back. all right. Larry, what about you? I learned that you can watch an MXT takeover on mute and still have fun. <laughs> Which is not a commentary on the commentary. No, it's not. There's no problem with the necess- commentary. Necessity. The, the wrestling was just that good. Hmm. Yeah. What about you, Riz? Ooh. Um, let's see. I learned that Kid Rock can just go away now. <laughs> it's fine. That was the finale of him. That's like, the like, that's the hat and jacket in the middle of the ring for Kid Rock, right? 
Well, if you take off the hat and jacket of Kid Rock, he just disappears. Like he, he like a, 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 a slight breeze can probably blow him away, Jeez. and like little specks of him will, you know, dissipate as he as the wind picks up. I wish it were that easy. They spent a lot of time on on Kid Rock with the Bawa da Ba Devil Without a Cause era, didn't they? To make us care about him again. I mean, there's no I. I I don't get why he's a Hall of Famer. Probably because he's going to be um, a fucking senator next year or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's the Hall of Fame bump, isn't it? I would, I would have loved Fred Durst to be in there more than him. Because he actually, A, did Taker's music. Well, yeah, and so, B, well, no, so did Gabe Rock. And B oh, I see was featured saying. on two... WWE video games. This <laughs> playable character. No, that's well, the... if that's the qualifications, Virgil should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, yeah, Virgil probably, mm-hmm. probably technically should be. What about Lenny from Motorhead? Why wouldn't he? He would be oh. in it for him. You know, if Triple H. You know, Triple H. Every year in the celebrity bout is like, oh. get Lenny in there. Yeah, yeah well, Lenny's gonna be in there. On. Yeah. Get Lenny in there. He made my career. I, that's how. That's career. how. That's how Triple. <laughs> Musically, yeah, I right, guess, no. yeah. I mean, it's they're true. talking about how how Kid Rock uh, supplied the soundtrack to pro wrestling and The Undertaker for all these years, right? For all, that wasn't yeah. even that long, but 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 so many shows and everything. It's like, well, you know, when he did the soundtrack to Triple H's career, he's like like three or four songs. They did Ace of Spades on an NXT. I don't know. And if, if that's the case, the band who did DX should be in it. Yeah, those guys, H Blocks. Don't don't listen to that album. I, I picked up their album because, like, oh, these are the guys that do uh, DX and and other stuff for WWE, and I listen to the album. DX, I'm like, Triple H, oh, and uh, they really need Xbox. they really need Jim Johnston to produce them. <laughs> apparently, um, yes, more. I mean, and I wasn't afraid of screaming songs, but uh, that was a little much. What'd you learn, Sorg? I ah crap. Um, I learned that. Um, I I'm trying to remember how to state this. Um, Impact Wrestling still becomes the um, they're they're calling me back after that Lucha versus Impact <laughs> show because like, damn, they got some good talent over there, right? But man, I'm afraid that show is going to make me fall asleep again. You know, that's me. Oh, that's, that's somebody that's, was tapping. That's on my the mouse tapping. Yeah, that wasn't me. That was, that time. That was like, not me. That's not no no. Riz, no, no Riz is not making Riz. Not me. But no, I mean, and again, I mean, this is a this is a problem I've had for a while. I've always wanted to watch that show for you know people we know like DJ Z, uh, d- that one with Desmond Xavier uh-huh. and thank you, uh, and, and a few of those other guys. Oh, I, oh, hi, <clears throat> whatever. O V E O O I O H I four K. Oh, I was for killers, but those guys, uh, the Chris brothers, Sammy Callahan's on there. So many of the Lucha guys have been doing stuff on there, but, and I love watching them, but every time I go and watch the show, unless it's EC3, it's just like, man, these guys are so good, but why isn't this compelling? You know, and, but I, but I'm at that point where I want to give it another shot again, but uh, yeah, when the hell am I going to get time to get, put them in? Um, and I don't have, I don't know what a pop TV is. Uh, but uh, but definitely oh definitely dropping into that Impact Wrestling Twitch every once in a while. So yeah, on top of wrestling, um, apparently you know there was a Senate hearing on Twitch today. Side note that that threw me. The Facebook hearing was on Twitch. You would have thought they put it on Facebook Live. I uh, oh, 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 I'm sure it was. <laughs> I think it I'm was. sure it was. It was on YouTube. That's where I watched it. What's that? I just learned one more thing. What's it? What did you learn? You, you cannot sleep at a two hundred five live show. Security no. will come wake you up. Oh, really? Somebody, somebody That's just funny. posted. Somebody just posted on Twitter. A, a guy was sleeping during two hundred five live. Two security guards comes over and wake wake him up. Was he on the hard cam side? It's it just, just like it, it's just a ran, some random some some random guy in the stand took the picture of the guy sleeping, and oh. security went and woke he him up. He might have been drunk. No. Norlands? No. <laughs> he probably has been to every wrestling was show all weekend. <laughs> it was it Mike? <laughs> no, it doesn't Mike. look like Mike. Okay. In the, they're right. in the cha- they are in the chat room. Um, so I, I can't wait to listen. And again, we have some footage from the, those guys down in New Orleans to uh, get their perceptions on everything. Um, um, there were, 
uh, Badger, I want to get to your 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 what you learned. Did you come across oh, yeah. it? Oh yeah, um, the F five is a very ineffective move. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. What would you say? Twelve of them. Six. 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 Six of them. Half no, a dozen. I was like Half cleaning up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like as soon as that, I didn't even see the entrance. I was, I was like, oh, it's time to clean up and start getting ready to sleep. I would have been okay with that match if they had Roman win. After really? he after he got busted open. Yeah. I, I, if they if it they would have like... if they would have gave him an actual comeback from that, I would have been okay with it. Yeah, and again, but they know, didn't. It Brock was just does a stupid. Brock well, loves try one more F five. Brock loves doing that things the, the hard way. Wa- Brock loves doing things the hard way, doesn't he? Yeah, because that was that yeah. was an elbow. He knows exactly how yeah. to do that. So, um, Chad the Shad has chimed in on Slack and it says that he's learned. Hold that up again. Hold it up again. Sure. He has learned uh, that. Uh, how great Brock Lesnar is, he's the best. Yeah. Um, Chad wanted us to talk about how awesome Brock Lesnar is. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that. Mm. In, in our Slack, he, he kept on saying that we should talk about how great Brock Lesnar is. Brock Lesnar is so great, he should be on uh, TNA. <laughs> Tag teaming with an owl. I hear they're hiring. Anyways. He, um, he should take Lashley's place there. Yeah. There you go. From the chat room, Bobby F. J. Town learned his girls. The icons got a revenge for my boo, Asuka. Uh, also, that there are new ways to use a ladder in a match thanks to NXT TakeOver. The Yoda on my back Vader bomb was my favorite thing of yeah. the weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Adam Cole. Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> no, it just, I just, um, I have that mental image. Now I got to go find, I got to Yes, just you're... imagine oh, yeah. Adam Cole. As Yoda on whose back was he on? Oh, he was on D- Killian, Killian Dane's. Killian Dane's back, <laughs> and then and then Killian Dane with Adam Cole on his back, Vader bomb. No, uh, yeah, EC, yeah, right. Some EC three, yeah, yeah. Uh, onto some a ladder. poor onto unfortunate a ladder. soul on a ladder. Onto a ladder. On, yeah. So ladder yeah. laying on the ladder. No, no, the ladder was he no. Was it was under it the was ladder. Ladder. EC three. Yes. Killian Gun Dane. Dane. Adam Cole on Killian Dane's back. Yes. Jesus. Everybody got no. That. Just no, to no, get no, that no. extra weight. The ladder was on top of EC three. Was it? Yeah, I think he was it under was on the ladder. top of EC3. Wow. Yeah, because yeah, I think the whole idea... Well, that's just stupid. Why I'm, would you do that to I'm yourself? Because I'm just like, well, what, does, what, what is Adam Cole selling, right, in the move? Then yeah. I realize like, he kind of slides off and hits the ladder, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was... it was. I Listen, I did the math on this one, because I'm like, how is that even... Okay. That um, dude is protected. What? Look at all the crazy bumps that that guy is part of. He is never on the worst end of it. <laughs> <laughs> because like, he's look, smart. Look, look at look at um um war games. Yeah, like all the crazy shit that happens in happens in it. He's on top of the cage watching it all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, didn't he jump at one point though? Yeah, but he yeah, landed but, on but a on crowd top. of people. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not like he landed on he a just trash landed, can. Or he just a table landed or... on the entire mosh pit. Yeah. Um. You know, when you're that guy in the crowd. Uh. But. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's more in here. Uh, also, Ricochet flipping off the ladder uh, while while it was falling. Says Bobby FJ Town. Oh yeah, when he was pushing it over and he did a backflip off onto the rest yeah, of the crowd. Moots all done. This is insane. Of it ladder. was insane. It's just you're going to start yelling at your TV or phone or whatever you're going to watch this thing on. Man, it's 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 amazing. Uh, there's more in the chat room. Alex learned that if uh, if you pal drive an invisible man in New Orleans, you will get ejected from the building. <laughs> what? If you pile drive an invisible man in New Orleans, you'll be ejected from the building. There is got to be a story to this. Oh God! Who said that? Uh, Alex Miller. He was down there. Uh, um, We're gonna find this out. Yeah, we, we say, please please tell me there's video somewhere out there of this. I remember Mike, hearing about this. I'm you heard about this? I mean, crazy shit happens in, in New Orleans. Um, Mad Mike learned that Happy Rusev Day is an international greeting for any wrestling fan, drunk or sober. <laughs> 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 I just imagine everybody in New Orleans just passing somebody in wrestling t shirt and saying, Happy Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day. It's Happy more like Rusev Day. Happy Rusev Day. <laughs> <laughs> Which o- only, translates. Only if you're drunk. Only yes. if you're drunk. There's different dialects oh, based on geez. your alcohol blood content. You know what? I'm going to start doing that when I run into foreign competitors at these events that I film. <laughs> like, I was hanging out a lot with the uh, the Polish teams for some reason. And I just want to say, hey, happy Bruce Day, you know, and see if anybody responds. 
You no? should do it with your left. No. Your, I, I wouldn't go, start with the no. Polish team. Start with the Polish team? Start with no. the Bulgarian. It's no different than when people can't figure out why I celebrate Shark Week, like the peop- like like Christmas. Nice. There's a lot of people do that. Yeah, they don't get it. They're like, mm. okay. Okay. Yeah. You could, you could always do it like with a... your, your lift passengers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. But again, the car. Happy Rusev Day. How are you doing today? Like, like, and when... then you play the music yeah. and like shit shoots out. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> like a flag comes down <laughs> behind da, 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 da. Him. <laughs> Confetti cannons. Confetti yes. cannons. I can rig that up. Deal. Let's talk about this. Oh, Let's God. talk about this. If nothing else, for a YouTube video. Um, oh, wrestling entrances in Lyft. Matt Car- yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I've been wanting to do something like this. For oh, a while. man. We need to make this happen. Matt Carr has learned that 20 plus hours of live pro wrestling over five days may be too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've been through it all. They've gone to a wrestling show at least since Friday, yes. including tonight. So we did, you, you and I and uh, Missy. We did three days of wrestling, and yeah, going to like the Chikara King of Trios three days in a row. I, I, after that weekend, I was like, you know what? I want to take a few days off of wrestling <laughs> for a little bit. That's uh, Monday Night Raw. That was a little much. Yeah, yeah. What was it? We did six. It was like six days. We did six days in a row of wrestling. Yeah, was it during Wrestle Kingdom or? No, that was it. Felt like six days because we 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 watched like oh, ten we hours of wrestling overnight yeah. and left the studio at eight a.m. No, no, there was there was some pay per view going on where it was. We started with Raw, and then we went all the way through the entire week, plus the pay per views, and then to like uh, NXT the next week or something like that. Something I don't insane. know. I, I like we, I we started with this. like Lucha Underground, and then there was like Takeover on a Friday. And then, like something on Saturday, and then a pay per view, and then Raw, then SmackDown, then NXT. It was like a lot of wrestling. But it, that's every week it seems these days <laughs> with the network and everything. So it might have been WrestleMania last year. It, it, it sounds like it sounds like what that is. Yeah, Matt Carlin just made me feel like I w- I'm not doing nothing the next two weeks. I'm going to four shows in eight days. The closest one is an hour and twenty minutes from my house. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, you go on these awesome indie wrestling uh, uh yeah, binge I got trips. Four between I mean going to Meadville you or you travel more than I'm willing to. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you, you should uh just be like a dedicated Uber for the Oh talent. I could be. Yeah, I could be. yeah. Start the I could be. You, seriously. You, like, I, I'm going to either going to Meadville or Ring of Honor Saturday. Mm-hmm. Of course I'm my Black Diamond Incarnate. wrestling <laughs> my Black Diamond wrestling debut will be Sunday. The following Friday I'm going to AIW for Papa Shango and godfather and the following night is remix in marietta and you did half of my events readout for me uh for the end of the show thank you very much there you go see <laughs> uh speaking I am of the this... most ridiculous traveling though for for wrestling possibly the date mm. where i was on a plane twice in the same day <laughs> holy I, cow i actually went it was actually the farthest probably anyone's ever gone for a pizza is really what it came down to <laughs> <laughs> um, so i went to chicago for a seminar for a tom pritchard seminar uh-huh. and 11 minutes after my flight takes off i i get it i somehow miraculously got a text like how many thousands of feet in the air mm. and it was um a, a fellow wrestler who was also gonna go was like and it's canceled and i'm like furiously texting what is canceled it's not sending because i'm oh, in the air and then somehow again miraculously get an email when yeah. i have no service from the the company holding the seminar like tom pritchard can't get here and we're gonna do our own version we'll like refund you and i was like i remember being like because my husband came with me too so it's like two plane tickets got a hotel like got a hotel and everything because it was like a two-day thing yeah. and i'm like okay what how much like what's worse telling them that i dragged them all this way and there's no seminar because then it was no seminar because snow mageddon came to chicago it's like they were like yeah planes are not taking off so i thankfully so we got to the hotel uh took a nap ordered a pizza fucking 40 dollar garbage pizza oh giadornos fuck you that's just ridiculous and that's why you guys need to check out slice on broadway here in pittsburgh but no seriously i like was smart enough miraculously like to call the uh fucking airline and like what should i do and they're like 
get the fuck out of Chicago. So I turned, so turned around, went all the way back to the airport and was like, I left Pittsburgh at 8 a.m. And I got back at like 11. Oh, it was wow. ridiculous. I was like, fuck. Uh, sorry, I missed one. Uh, Wheel says he learned that he loves Twitch for his wrestling fix. Well, we're going to have a whole other conversation about Twitch and wrestling. This is amazing these days. What's happening there? Um, all right, guys. By the way, Billy, thank you for doing half my events for me. You're welcome. Uh, for reads. Um, check out uh, <laughs> check out Honey Badger. IndieWrestling.us. There's got some matches mm-hmm. up there, including this past week's Rise is up there already. Yeah, I know. Uh, digital download and video on demand. I go support Indie Wrestling over there uh, as well. We have a lot of fun stuff coming on there. Uh, there's uh, the Meatville show uh, that's going to have Rey Mysterio. Mark Henry is going to be there uh, uh, presenting a Battle Royal. Um, who else is on that Jack show? Jack Swagger. Rikishi's on there. Mm-hmm. Jack Swagger. Tiger, my boy. We yeah, the people. Yeah. We the people. We're taking on those... <laughs> Dirty Canadian hippies. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a fun show. And, uh, and again, you can check out all that stuff if you're not there in person at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, we have a cool certain area. The, let me say that. Starting, we're in the midst of just awesome guests every week. I'm including the Honey Badger this week. Uh, but coming up, the, y- yes, producer Missy? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. There is a promo code for IndieWrestling.us. 25% off the video on demand. Those work on your iPhones and the iPads and everything. Rain 2018 for April because it's snowing. At least here in Ugh. Pittsburgh. Uh, so, I know it's not snowing here. But but no, go check it out. Rain 20, 2018 uh, over at the video on demand section at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, coming up in the, uh, the coming weeks. Um, actually, tomorrow night we're going to be chatting with Christian Black. From Rise Wrestling, Rise with a Y. We need to qualify that, especially since the other Rise is coming here next month as well. And also, um, is this next week we're doing this? Oh, geez. I don't know if I'm mentally ready for this. Mambo Italiano will be here. Oh. You all right, Riz? Ooh. Yes, I'm okay. Boo. Just, Boo. You just Boo. Got, oh, you yeah. Just got Riz was ready for that, Sorg. Okay. What's he? <laughs> no, I'm not. Part of Golden Chic. <laughs> you're. you're, you're Feud. <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Mama Italiano will be here, so uh, we're going to uh, uh, have him read the slice on Broadway ad from a real Italian next week. Um, and also, uh, Laura Loveless will be returning to the show. Actually, I don't think she's been on this show. I think we just had her on Indie Mayhem before, so that'll be a first time for her. Nice. And we'll, we'll ask her about her, her sweet new entrance. <laughs> Those wings are awesome. She's doing a lot of good shit yeah, right so. now. Uh, that'll be in uh, two weeks on the 24th and uh, we'll be uh, lining up a lot of other fun stuff as well um, of course the what a backlash party I guess we're going to have next right uh, we do uh, pay-per-view parties here in the studio sometimes food is involved like the pancake or bangers and mash party we had for Wrestlemania what was it? Pancakes and bangers pancakes and bangers I don't know I wasn't here to I fucking want in on that. Next <laughs> there you time. go. We're gonna have a lot more people show up now that they know that that's happening. Um, what is, what is an event of food for backlash? Um, bad tacos, probably. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> 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 thank you so much, Honey Badger. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook and the Twitter that I'm still learning how to use, and uh, Instagram at, at uh, Regina. H Badger or Regina Honey Badger. I don't know which ones are which because I don't know how to do social media. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Regina, Missy. Regina H Badger. <laughs> she's got you. She's she's like she's like she's like everybody's social media manager. Uh so greatest Royal Rumble party? That'll be like in the middle of the night for you, Carlins, because you're an over. Well, you know what, Missy? If you're on strike, no, I'll a, hire you to it, be my social media. Yeah, he guru. works nights though. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, he works nights, so it's like okay. the middle of, middle of the Thank night it. for him. I didn't even hear that. So. It's done. It'll, it'll it's be it. like Wrestle Kingdom all over it'll again. Be like Wrestle, yes. It's like reverse Wrestle Kingdom. Only it won't last 17 hours. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We have like at least. We're doing that again. We this have year. seven matches and a 50 man Royal Rumble. Yeah. That's, That's going to be long. That's at least four hours. We'll see. Has to be. Well, the fifty man Royal Battle Royal is going to be what ninety seconds. We're rolling into another show, guys. Yep. Thank you so much, Riz, Billy, uh, Larry, and uh, well, ex, ex producer you can, Missy. You can, there's places you can find me. Billy, so. where can people find you? Uh, Billy J sixty four on Twitter and, uh, and Sunday at Black Diamond in 
Oh, it's down the by the Brownsville. That's the Sunday, isn't it? Sunday, <laughs> six o'clock, first bell time. What? Out of time? Yeah, it's called out of time. <laughs> it's out of time, and we are out of time. But I will be there at Black Diamond on Sunday. Uh, six o'clock is the first bell. Riz plays games. He's going to be here in studio yes. doing uh, some uh, video game playing with me. It's probably going to be Fortnite, to be honest. Are we still actually? To that? I, might, no? I might be playing a little bit of Far Cry Five too. Oh, I'm curious I, I about that. You, I want we're going to get experience this We're going to get controversial with Far Cry Five. And also, apparently. So we're going to, in the chat. I am posting the. Uh, the link to my f- uh, marathon uh, donation button thing. Uh, I am so close to my three hundred and fifty dollars goal. Uh, you guys have been so awesome for this. Uh, awesome. Thank you so That's much. Um, How close I, are you? I was uh, I was assuming that I was going to be the first one to get the. Um, the 350 to qualify for to to go to go into the race uh apparently that has already been caught uh, sadly lucky um but i am i already we were already raised 220 dollars uh for the 350 i can't do math that well so i'm gonna leave that up to you guys 130 Um, left Donations will be going to for about another twenty seven days. So if you guys want to pitch in, you can. Uh, I and again, I will probably be doing something special for for Risk Plays games somewhere down the line. Maybe we'll do like a uh, a Jackbox games type situation where uh, you get to play with us in the studio while we're on, on remote. Either way. Uh, I'll have something planned before then. But other than that, thank you guys so much for donating for my cause, which is uh, the Dick's Sporting Goods Foundation, uh, the Sports Matter Program, which helps youth sports in all in, in all schools. Awesome. Thank you, Riz, for that. And, of course, if you want to tour the Girth Cave, you can hit him up at uh, girthquake at sorgatronmedia.com. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's been a blast and super long show, but a little good fun. Good fun for the post mania uh, one. Thank you, everybody that's dropped into the chat room, including Bobby F J Town, Alex, uh, both Alexes, um, Tina Wheels, and everybody else that's dropped in through the night. JD, Dave, uh, thanks so guys, so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.